What is going on, Governors? Chiskul here. It's been a crazy 24 hours. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Great to be here today. Hope you're all doing well. We've got an action-packed agenda. We're gonna talk about King Talib. We're gonna talk about a new message we got, a system mail that looks kind of interesting, face-to-face -face with the developers. I mean, I'd love to do a face-to-face -face interview, but this is pretty nice, too. We're going to do Golden Kingdom. We got a ton to talk about, people. We got a ton to talk about. And there were over 200 people in the waiting room for this live stream before it even started. Which is, by the way, I think the most that have been in the waiting room before our live stream started. So welcome. Great to have you here. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate each and every one of you, including Audacious Golem 2, who during that waiting time became a member of the channel. Great to have you here. As a member, your name's in green, you get the badge, you get all the channel emojis, and access to a special members-only Discord room. Welcome aboard. Great to have you here. Great to have you here. This should be a fun stream. Should be a crazy stream. I have never received so many questions overnight. I've never received so many questions in a single evening as I did last night. Justin, what's going on? Hey, you. Hey, you. Phil, what's up? So, look, never have I gotten so many messages with one question, and it was the same question from every single person. Why did you zero King Talib? King Talib. King Talib, 24 hours ago, was at 135 million power. There's a lot to talk about here. There's a lot to talk about. My eyes are watching the chat, in case you're wondering. I always watch the chat. Hence the Chiskel searching emoji. Audacious Golem knows he's showing it off. He's showing it off in the chat. Isn't this the third time he got zeroed? I'm not sure exactly. It's probably the second time, actually. We need to distinguish the difference between rallying someone and zeroing someone. Just to kick this thing off, okay? If we rally somebody, that means we launched a rally. It doesn't mean they were zeroed. Zeroed is when all of your troops go to the hospital and all your other troops are dead because your hospital is overflowing. That's what zero means. Why not? I would rather we didn't. <laughs> Pardon me. Sneezes in the morning. I would rather we were not zeroing him. I would much rather we... I would much rather that he had not defected i would much rather that he had stayed with the arc team i would much rather that he had not broken kingdom rules i would much rather that he had not zeroed 30 plus cities i would much rather i would much rather i would much much rather he be with the kingdom rather than fighting against the kingdom you know what i mean that was that that's why i invited him to this kingdom that's why I invited him to this kingdom. And I suppose you could say, like, it was knowable that he was always just going to do whatever he was just going to do. But that's not true. That's not true. In season three of KVK, he was a team player. He's on the ARC team. I mean, like, it's not true. 8.5 sneeze on the sneezer scale. That's funny. That's funny. Like a Richter scale. Bless me, thank you. Appreciate that. How many cities were actually farms, though? A bunch were farms. Thank goodness for that. Thank goodness a bunch of them were farms. Doesn't make it more okay. They could have not been farms. He didn't care. Farm or not, he was just getting points. Right? He was just getting points. So we got to talk about what happened a little bit. And then talk about the why. Why? Why did we zero him? Um, and <laughs> kitten sneeze, meow, meow, good morning. Wasn't his power 150 million? It was 190, it was 195, I believe. It was more like 195. Here's what happened, okay? And I just want to strip away all of the side stuff. We're going to go and talk about all the side stuff. I just want to strip all that away for a second. 
What I want to talk about is that at the core of this, we have a player who is going to do whatever they wanted, including zero cities, and the kingdom responded. And it's really like at the core of it, it's that simple. At the core of it, it's that simple. You have a player who was going to do whatever they wanted, including zero cities, and the kingdom's response was to zero him. I want to be clear that I don't, I don't decide anything. I don't, I don't, I make no decisions anymore. I don't decide anything. I, I have the crown for king right now, but I don't decide anything at all, actually. When's the kingdom buffs? Somebody else decides it. We got a team of 20 like people that pick the kingdom buffs and give the titles. Who gets the trophies? Who gets the, the lost temple trophies? There's a group of people in a chat that decided. I don't decide that. I send them, but I don't decide these things. I decide basically nothing. I decide, I just, right? And that's a, that's a good thing, by the way. That's much better than when I decided things. That's much better. There's so much more alignment when they are, the decisions are not my judgment and it's a council. There's so much better judgment. We've got a high council. We've got a leadership group. The leadership group is much larger than the high council. And um, the high council calls the shots. Chili, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. The high council calls the shots. I don't, I don't call the shots. And the high, high council is a large group. And the leadership team is a massive group. This is a massive group. I'm still the king. I wear the king, I wear the king title. I wear the king title. Chisco will play Minecraft. I've never played Minecraft. Can you believe that? I've never played. Ne literally never. Literally never. But yeah, 511 million resources gathered. I don't know where he got his resources from. Oh, yes, I do. Zeroing all those cities. That's right. That's right. That's where I got them from. Juan Pablo, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. So, I wanted to just establish that, like, Chiskul didn't decide to zero King Talib. It's something the kingdom decided to do. Panza Boy, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Um, it's something the, king the kingdom decides to do. <laughs> uh, Mysterious Gamer, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Smash Squad. Welcome to the Smash Squad. Um, I used a joke that King Talib gathered resources by uh, buying bundles. That was his resource gathering for the day. Yavari! Anil Kumar, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. I have no personal beef with King Talib. Like I said, I wish he was playing with us. I wish he was in the fold. It, my preference was that we would not have zeroed him, but I think it was necessary. Rivaldi Oakham, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you. FG, welcome to the Smash Squad. So, I'll craft some mines with you, but only so you can mass a bajillion subs. Uh, take one for the squad. Very funny. Very funny. So, so, you know, look. You tell me, chat. How should a kingdom respond if there's a player that is acting against the rest of the kingdom and zeroes whoever they want? Ermir, she who... Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. How was your night? Better than the last one? It was. I did sleep better. Thank you. Mr. Worldwide CEO. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Smash Squad. So. Kick him. Zero him just like you did. I mean, I think... I think this is what any healthy kingdom would do. And yet there's all these weird comments from people that are like, that are like, how could you do that? To, and it's like, what do you mean? How could we do that? It's, it's so weird how the internet works. Like somehow we, we were the offender. Dude, I think it's, it's like an immune system. Ace tricks. Thank you for subscribing. A healthy immune system has white blood cells that get the unhealthy stuff out of the body. Dove Asas, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
People zeroing King Talib, it's like the white blood cells of the kingdom defending the kingdom. It was a reaction to an invader, not the other way around. Darwin Menjivar, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. I don't know if white blood cells actually think or not, or if they just like, they're just programmed to do like, oh, like this is, this belongs and this doesn't. Player who zeroes other players does not belong, right? So the white blood cells kick in. The white blood cells kick in. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to keep up. Kurotaka, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Jeff, did you know 7.5% of your channel's views came from the last 30 days? Great job. Holy crap, are you serious? I did not know that. 7.5% of my channel's total views came from the last 30 days? That can't be right. Jeff, I appreciate that $5 super chat and the insight. Is that serious? Is that serious? What caused him to go off the deep end? Now, Jason, that's an interesting question. That's an interesting question. Holy moly, your name. Gino, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> I appreciate you, truly. Chis school, honestly, I forgot biology. Been at home for six months. Fair enough. Me too. Oh, Fuang Hoang, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Why was he zeroed? Just tuning in. Cool. Um, he zeroed dozens of cities in a kill event. It's against the kingdom rules. He made it clear he was always going to do whatever he wanted to do. So we had to zero him. It's like antibodies. Amrit, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. I do really appreciate it. So, and, I, and I've said this a bunch of times, and I'm going to keep saying it. Like, I had, it was not personal at all between me and Talib. Sean Lowe, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you. It was not personal, you know? It was not personal. Toast, welcome to the Smash Squad. By the way, you know what's really crazy? It felt like the entire last stream we had, we were just, like, welcoming people to the to the smash squad like we were just welcoming people and and like there were actually over 350 people that subscribed during the last live stream it was insane victor thank you for subscribing i appreciate you it was it was totally insane how many people subscribed it was out of control and in that live stream we actually did zero king to leave live it happened live it wasn't planned he let his peace shield fall off you know he let his peace shield fall off. At the end, it's always personal. No, there's nothing personal. Almost 1,000 views. Keep it up. Nice. Appreciate it. Imagine as a free-to-play getting the notification to leave is migrated to your kingdom. Well, imagine you're one of those free-to-play players that had your farm zeroed, you know? Or, or I don't think there were many mains involved because he did this in zone one he did this zeroing in zone one thank goodness thank goodness for that oh my gosh well faf thank you for subscribing i appreciate you honestly i hope this is a lesson to all rock players to make it known that no matter how big you are you can get zeroed and you can't get away with breaking the rules you know I, um chat talk i hope you're i i hope you are right I don't think every kingdom runs the way that we do. In fact, I know every kingdom doesn't run the way they, <laughs> that we do. I know they don't. I know they don't. There's a lot of organized kingdoms out there. Did King Talib quit? I doubt it. I mean, I hope he doesn't quit. I, I hope he finds a great kingdom for himself. Ryan Shelley, thank you for the $1 super. The number of troops that die in this sort of an exchange are astonishing, by the way. The number of troops that die is astonishing. Almir, welcome to the Smash Squad. Um, we went to the Kingdom newspaper just to get a peek. And um, here's the death toll between just Smash Squad, our alliance, and King Talib. And the crazy thing, the really crazy... And by the way, we have reports. I shared these in my last live stream, but I can share them again. The crazy thing is that there were multiple other alliances involved. So the numbers that you see up here, that's not all of them. Royal Badminton, I appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing.
Baron, welcome to the Smash Squad. Zeroing players left, right, and center for no reason needed. And seriously, this was much needed. Yeah, this was much needed. It, it, it was a defensive reaction. So this is cross-kingdom news, by the way. Multiple kingdoms have this in their newspaper. Multiple kingdoms. Rochelle, what's going on? Good to see you this morning. Chiskul, how do you catalog players as 100k? I, I bet you King Talib spent over 150k. Um, he has over 45 million dead troops. They're T5s, so... You, you can uh, start to figure out about how much that would cost. Victor, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you. Um, membership isn't available in your region. Bummer, Mr. Zach. Sounds like channel membership is not possible where you are. Um, so, you know, look. I, I again, I, I would rather we didn't zero him. I would rather all of us have our troops. Instead of being involved in this number, I'd rather that he have his troops. I'd rather that he fight for the kingdom. But he killed a ridiculous amount of T4 on farms. I mean, like, an astonishing amount of T4 from farms. He just ran around killing them. And, like, I just, I'm, I'm watching that happen thinking, like, even if those players dumped every single one of those troops into some stupid flag that was getting swarmed or rallied or whatever, like, you can't. You can't harm a kingdom like that and just get away with it and think that's okay. You know what I mean? I mean, the amount of T4 that he killed when he went on his rampage was astonishing. So when people are like, oh, you know, he doesn't deserve to be zero. Like, bro, ladies, gentlemen, like, in what world can someone run around? And I'll tell you what world someone can run around like crazy unchecked is in a kingdom where no one else is strong enough to oppose him. Kenny, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. In a world in which no one is strong enough to oppose, someone like that can run around. But like, pfft. yo, in Kingdom 75, please. Please. We got, we got bigger whales. And we have more. <laughs> we have many. Many high power players with sick rosters, right? Like, my roster is pretty sick. Like, this is a pretty sick roster. Not gonna lie. Is a pretty sick roster. Okay. And there's like 20 or 30 accounts like this in the kingdom. Kang Kang, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. I think he spent way more, to be honest. He trained so inefficiently. You're not wrong, Cortex. And with gems too, probably. That's true. Black Knight, thank you for the $5 super. I was the head justice in my kingdom. We protect our players from people like him too. Good job. Thank you. Again, not my preference, but a necessity. Not my preference, but a, a, a true necessity. How many sculptures needed for Caesar? Not really related to what we're talking about, but I'll show you. <laughs> I am on this screen. Actually, I guess that makes it related. Okay, touche. Your question was related and well received. <laughs> Do you think Mightiest Governor is an antiquated system? Wow, now that's the right question, Mr. Was that Mr. Zach? No, Jason. Jason, I think you're not wrong. I think the Mightiest Governor is a source of great drama. Lanta Sarmiento, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Um, our whole kingdom is in alignment with the system that we use to reduce drama for Mightiest Governor. Our whole kingdom is in alignment, except King Talib, right? Like, he was the one person. That just wanted to do what he wanted to do, as opposed to the system that we have, right? And and we've talked about this before. We've talked about this system for Mightiest Governor before. How to build a tent. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. We've talked about this before. This is not new for how Mightiest Governor is run here. The people who contribute the most in KVK are awarded the spots. It's that simple. You want, you want sculptures from Mightiest Governor? Participate in KBK. It's, it's easy. It couldn't be easier than in this kingdom, except we got a lot of people that are both training a lot and participating a lot and sending a lot of troops to die and going to the altars and, and ruins all the time. And that's what makes it competitive. 
That's what makes it competitive. Ahmed, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. You know, that's what makes it competitive. But we, we, the amount of data we collect for every single player is astonishing. I mean, literally every single player in every main alliance, we're going to go in and we're going to get their kills. We're going to get their dead troops. We're going to get their power. We're going to get their resource assistance. Maljami says that if he didn't get zeroed, the same people would say K-75 and Chiskel can't control the whales in the kingdom. Well stated, Maljami. And that they can do whatever they want, which happened two KVs a case ago. Well stated, Maljami. Well stated. Well stated. There it is. There it is. Can I pin a chat? <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly right, Maljami. We get criticized if we don't control the whales. We get criticized when we zero them for, for not behaving. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I think the reality is that our, kid, our kingdom will always take more criticism than probably any other. Our kingdom will always be more scrutinized. It's just a reality. Everything we do is infinitely more public. It's infinitely more public. And I tell people that. It, it's, it's honestly, depending on how you look at it, a downside or an upside to being in our kingdom. Right? The downside is that, like, some people think it is appropriate. This, is, this disgusts me. I don't know if you can hear my disgust. I'm trying to moderate it. It disgusts me that people think it's okay to post screenshots of Discord from, you know, kingdom chat or alliance chat in public places. I find that disgusting. Somewhat revolting. Ugh. Gross. Disgusting. But people think that's okay. So, like, yeah. Like, our, our Discord, we basically have to treat it like you're posting to the front page of Reddit. 1,000 views, you did it. The funny thing about Reddit is there's actually a no witch hunting rule, which I think is... Amazing. I can't believe that I'm I'm actually praising Reddit in this way, but there's a no witch hunting rule. You can't single out kingdoms or people in an attempt to rally everyone else against them in a, in a reputation harming, you know, way. There's no witch hunting, which I think when enforced is a really great rule actually, because that's what makes those forums toxic is witch hunting, singling people out because for whatever reasons that may or may not be true. Anyways, anyways, just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. So, Chiskul, posting internal memos publicly is basically spying. Well, and spying I get is the funny thing. Spying I get. Spying I get. And I guess, I, I mean, I guess... You know, some people could just, like, join our Discord and spy and, like, post it. And, you know, people have been doing that, and that's fine. It's fine. It's going to happen. We're, we already act as if everything posted is public. Because it basically is. That's fine. Did his stream freeze for you? Oh, man. That sounds like it's just on your end. I hope it's just on your end. I don't know, chat. Let me know. You let me know if that's a problem you're seeing. Why do you team up with 1189 again in KVK? Because they're friggin' amazing. 1189 is one of the best kept secrets in Rise of Kingdoms. 1189 is one of the best kept secrets in Rise of Kingdoms. King Talib got zeroed in Kingdom 111 as well before he joined. So let's talk about the history. King Talib, I wouldn't what he, I don't know what he was doing in his kingdom. One one one, but they zeroed him. They zeroed him. In one one one. Then he migrated following King of Armenia to uh Kingdom 39. I also went with King of Armenia to Kingdom 39, fleeing from KVK season one. 
where a bunch of people were migrated in specifically to destroy our kingdom, which they did. Which they did. Who knew when you have the entire Rise of Kingdoms community base brought in to deal with a kingdom that that works. And then they made it so that migration is not a thing anymore during KVK, which at least they figured that out when they did. Or eventually, I should say. Um, so they went to Kingdom 39. Juggernaut, I see you in the chat. Good to see you there. They went to Kingdom 39. I went to Kingdom 39. On to Lieb's way out of Kingdom 39. He zeroed a bunch of cities during the kill event. I actually have that on video. I have that on video when he went and, you know, zeroed a bunch of cities on his way out of there. And I, I got I got it. You know, he was upset. He was upset with how KVK was run. Um, I get it. And I thought, like, maybe that's what it was, you know? I thought maybe that's what that was. Um, so, you know, look, like, when we were planning to come here to Kingdom 75, the original group was me, King of Armenia, and Death Squad, and a bunch of other folks, and a lot of those original folks actually bailed. They bailed, which, which I found disappointing. Um, but a bunch of folks that were like, oh yeah, we'll come. And I was like, okay, I'm saving you a spot in this kingdom. And they didn't come. And I think it's because it just took too long. Because we were finishing up Arc League. It just took too long. And so because it took too long, people went and they did other things. And, and I get that. But I, that, that, was, that was the moment in which I learned to move really fast with migrants, by the way. That was when I learned you have to go really fast. Like when, when I talk to somebody about migrating to this kingdom, I'm like, I'll get you in right now. Here's where you go right now. And I'm just like, I'm very, because people, people are like, you know, they, 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 the wind blows and they decide to do something else. And the ones that come here are generally pretty happy. So I just try to, you're on your way in? Come on in. Come on in. You got to be fast with migrators, man. If you don't act and, and get that move in like a, a day, a half day, turnaround, they're already going somewhere else. Or they stay where they are. Who the heck knows? Who the heck knows? It's weird. It's super weird. King Zero. Uh-oh. Hype emojis going on here? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the reports were insane, by the way. The reports were insane. There's screenshots floating around of me having, like, a really big reaction to this right over here. And a part of what took place here, I think is um, really having some of the wrong talents. Has to be. I mean, I don't know what talents he has, but they have to be the wrong talents. They have to be the wrong talents. Oh, dude, the accusations are so weird in the comments that I get. Someone accused me of zeroing Solomar. And I, it's like, dude, I was literally in the same alliance as him. What are you talking about? First you zero Solomar, now you zero Talib. It's like, where do you get your information from? Where do you get your information from? It's weird. It's just, it's weird. I think zeroing him was your only option. Umax, I think that's how we felt it too. That's how we felt too. It's not like it's the first time. This is the third time. It's not like he was saying, oh, I would really like to reintegrate. He was saying, I'm going to do whatever I want. Right? Like, I don't know what options we would have had that we didn't already exhaust in trying to prevent this outcome. Have I played Knighthood? I have not. I've seen the ads, but that it never ranks well in the App Store, so I haven't played it. Chiskul can even zero Solomar. Oh, Solomar would have been much easier to zero than this. Weirdly enough, he had more troops, but he had an even worse setup. Solomar was in Lost Kingdom, left behind in Zone 4. Yeah, he left himself behind. Techn we couldn't even teleport over. That's correct. Couldn't have tried. Couldn't have helped him if we had tried. That was our option also, says Kevin. Yep. We're almost at 100,000 subs. We're on our way. 
Thanks to everybody who subscribed. Consider subscribing to the channel and throwing a like on the video. It does support the channel, and I appreciate it tremendously. We get a silver play button from YouTube when we hit 100,000 subscribers, which I'm really kind of hyped about. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'm pretty hyped. Iron, if you're at all serious, you should call a helpline. If you're at all serious, you should call a helpline. Chiskel, how's Solomar? Solomar is... Uh, I have no clue. I have no clue. $5 super from Omax. There was no other option. That's how we felt. That's how we felt. Oh, the other craziest thing. This was another... This was another weird accusation. And it, it's like completely illogical. It's completely illogical. But someone was saying that... that I, I zeroed Solomar for content. And it's like, dude, I was in the middle of the most amazing Golden Kingdom run of all time. I don't know if you saw yesterday, we had literally five Esong marches at, that were like all max health because we had so much healing that we were unbeatable. We had the best Golden Kingdom run possibly ever. It was astonishing. It was astonishing. Chiskul, I love your hoodies. Dude, the hoodie is extremely comfortable. I'm not going to lie. Best of the best. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. The hoodie is extremely comfortable. I mean, like most of the, the merch from Teespring, I'm like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. The mug is fine, but I wish it was bigger. Because I mean, like I drink a lot of caffeine and it's not like I can, you know, just step away and go refill my mug, you know? So I got to have a big mug and this one is... This one I have is a nice size, but the one from Teespring's not. Anyways, but the hoodie is the hoodie is very comfortable. AP, thank you for becoming a new member. Your name's in green. You get the badge, and you get all the freaking custom emojis. They're pretty sweet. Speaking of custom emojis and badges, we are uh, commissioning some new artwork for the badge. I'm trying to point to it, but actually I realize now that the chat is not on... Where would the chat be for you? The chat should be on the, that side of the screen, most likely. Depending on what device you're on. Chat should be on that side of the screen. Farm lives matter. Yeah. I mean... You can't, you can't zero a farm. And, and that's not cool. That's not cool. Appreciate your becoming a member. Again. AP, hype, hype right up on the screen. <sighs> what a world. What a world. How do I feel about the Rise of Kingdoms ads? I don't, I don't get Rise of Kingdoms ads. I don't get them, but I have seen some of them. I don't know. I don't know. Some of those ads, I would love, uh, I don't know, I'd love to do an ad for Rise of Kingdoms. That'd be fun. I'd do one of those. I'd do one of those. Here's how you do an ad for a mobile game, is you just stand in front of a green screen and you yell. That's, that's how ads are done these days. You know what I'm talking about. Where you open packs, and you're like, oh, it's a pack! <laughs> and like, that's, that's how you make an ad. For a game these days, it seems. You know what I'm talking about. You get these ads all the time. I know I do. I know I do. It's ridiculous. PC spec? Oh, geez. Um, hold on, I gotta fix my camera. It's like, focus feels sort of off, maybe. Or maybe I'm just not, don't have my glasses on. P.S. I have this new sick camera set up on, like, it's all ready to go. And then, you know... I needed a different cable than what I had, so I order one, and it comes back, and it's the wrong cable, and I was like, what the heck? So now I go back to Amazon. I should just go to a physical retail store, but who does that anymore? Who does that anymore? What do I have in here? My PC. It's a Ryzen 3950. We got a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. 32 gig RAM. That's a pretty sick setup, actually. 
The new setup is pretty sick. The new setup is pretty sick. The, gra the price for the graphics card was through the freaking roof. Especially now. Especially right now. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know if that was the right choice. It was so expensive. It was not needed. But when I render a video now, it's like, instead of waiting 15 minutes for my video, like 60 seconds later, I've got my video. It's, it, it actually, I mean, it, it's meaningful. It's meaningful. It's very meaningful. All right. So what other weird accusations have there been about King Salib? I don't know. There's some weird accusation floating around about like my being sponsored somehow being right. It just doesn't make any sense. People are very illogical. It, it's as simple as he zeroed cities, the city, the kingdom zeroed him. It, it's like, it's that simple. It's that simple. A couple other reports for those of you that are, are curious. 11,000 to 184,000. Here's another one, 124,000 to 771,000. I mean, the only reason you lose like this is because you've got the wrong combat. You, you, you must have the wrong talents. You've got to have the wrong talents. And frankly, he has no alliance technology. He has no alliance technology, which is kind of a big deal. It's actually, it's actually a very big deal. I have no clue what that statement is. Can't figure out what's happening in chat. D nice, thank you for subscribing. I tried to figure out the chat. I couldn't figure it out. I, I'll tell you something. I am a lot more likely to respond to short comments that are very concise. Like, for instance, have you seen the leaked new commanders? Um, and like, Alex, I have seen other people talk about leaked commanders and like, I don't deal in leaks. I personally choose not to deal in leaks because that's uh, that's a risky business for a YouTuber. That's very risky business. At that point, if you're dealing in leaks, that's the possibility of getting charged for messing with a company's intellectual property. I'm not not getting involved in that. David Horick, thank you for the five dollar super chat. I appreciate it. Farms do matter in Rise of Kingdoms. Can't just go zero them. Troops are troops. Cities are cities. You zero a city, the kingdom zeroes you. How many total RSS did Talib have? Someone is showing the Chiskul searching emoji, hunting for the resources. I used to have the scout report, but I can tell you offhand what he had. He had about 1.6 billion food. He had like maybe 600 million wood. 1.6 billion ish stone and um 300 million gold ap thank you for the five dollar australian been listening to your stream since the early days of rock now i have my t5 archers one year later thank you you deserve the donation thanks for the aspirations i really appreciate that awesome to have a long time viewer hanging out and now member it's gonna be sweet glad to have you on this journey together it's going to be a heck of a journey. I don't know where we're going. I don't know where we're going on this journey. Rise of Kingdoms. That's that's what we're playing pretty extensively on this channel. And like, as long as the game keeps getting better and better, I don't see that changing anytime soon. Which, you know, the developers put a lot of effort into that. The developers do put a lot of effort into that. I heard Chiskul is to leave. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Did you truly get zeroed and lose 700,000 troops in two minutes? No. That's never happened. That's never happened. I have been double rallied and swarmed at the same time. KVK Season 2. I was... I let that happen. I was expecting the double rally. I was not expecting that they would immediately swarm me following the double rally. After my hospital was full. That got savage pretty quick. That got savage pretty quick. Um, shut down microtransactions for the first 30 days of the game. Have I ever migrated? Yes. I migrated from Kingdom 51 to Kingdom 39 and Kingdom 39 to Kingdom 75. I've also migrated my restart project on a couple occasions. 
So my restart project has done a little bit of traveling as well. Martell field build. Check out my Martell video. Check out my Martell video. It has timestamps. It will literally, it will literally take you to exactly what you wanted. You can go literally right to whatever talent build you want. If Talib gains power again, do you plan to zero him again until he migrates out? I think that's the plan. I don't think we have any choice. I don't think we have any choice. Do you? I don't... Can I explain the Kingdom newspaper? I can. You spend 10 gems. You might get a buff that is marginal at best for spending those gems. And you get to see some news stories that are automatically generated based on data. Things that have happened within the kingdom or neighboring kingdoms. It's honestly... Like, kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting. I wish the buff was a little bit better to make me feel a little better about the 10 gems. It's not the worst. Chiskul Mini migrated too. I did migrate my farm. At my restart project, I migrated twice. Once to 1507 and then to 1723. Which kingdom was the best so far? I mean, they've all been really great. They've all been really great. Um, I think that what we're doing in 75 is some really astonishing positive stuff right now. I think, I think there are a few kingdoms that I'm aware of anyways that are doing all the things that we're doing. And, and, and really, like without trying to pat myself on the back, because honestly, like <laughs> this stuff is hard to to do and we mess it up a couple times before we get it right but like we've pioneered a lot of things like rigging mightiest governor is something that like i had not heard of other places doing in the way that we do it the amount of data that we gather like now so many kingdoms copy that um i mean there's just a lot of things that we're doing that other kingdoms are now copying which uh, like yeah we, we we've got a lot of people really serious about how to how to run things here and make it a great place. Um, Serathine, people like to leave deserve it. You can't go against the agreed rules of a kingdom and act uh, and expect to get away with it. Called for zero. Yeah, I appreciate the super chat. I I just I think he thought he could get away with it, and the reality is that like no, you can't do that here. You can't do that here. I mean, we had a window we were, where we were like telling people like, dude, you can't do that. And they're like, okay, I won't do that. But he didn't give us that. He didn't even give us the, okay, I won't do it again. You know, like, like all he had to do was say like, okay, okay, I won't ever do it again. And at least we would have had something to work with, but that didn't happen. That didn't happen. I love all... Your videos really appreciate it. Helped me a lot. Thank you. Awesome, Mr. Zach. That's great. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Kingdom newspaper is worth the gems. You know, usually not. And if you wonder what the buff is, it's the same for everybody. So you just find out what somebody else got for their buff. Cam seven CC. Thank for you for the uh, two. Pound super. You did what you had to. I, that's how I feel. That's that's how I feel. I've seen, I mean I've seen some some pretty funny comments too. Right? Like the name of justice is K75. Or the initials for justice is K75. I heard that one as well. That was a good one. The initials for justice are K75. I like that. I like that. There were some screenshots floating around. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go too much into that. I'm not gonna do that. Have I tried to link my notifications to a smartwatch? I have not. That sounds kind of cool though. Greetings, Governor. Bringing exciting new changes and content for all governors has always been the core goal. I, I believe it too. Like other games pretend to do that, but and, and like don't, but they, but here they do. They really do. I mean, I, I'm telling you, from other games that I've played, the velocity of content here is very good. 
I, I, it really is. And, and, man, yeah, it's quite, it's quite good. Um, we continue to listen to the advice of governors. I think that they do. I think that they do. And here's the thing that I'll say is not only do they listen, but they're often slow to respond and they're slow to respond because they get data to work with. You know, they got to have data. They don't just listen when, you know, one person says something, they got to have a lot of information to work with to make a choice. That's my impression. I'm not, that's just my impression. Oh yeah. And this was another weird thing. Like I'm, so I'm a sponsored content creator for Rise of Kingdoms. I say that in almost every video I make. It's in the description of literally every single one of my videos. But I do not work at Lilith. There's a huge difference. I do not work at Lilith. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. That's, that's literally not how sponsorship works. I work for myself, which is exciting and terrifying, frankly. Quite frankly, but more exciting than terrifying. Okay, so this is a, uh, I love this face to face. Uh, if they want to do a face to face, I will do an interview over video happily. I will happily do a video interview. Let's do a video interview. Now, now joking aside, I'm really glad that they're sending this message, right? Like they should do this more often. How do you feel about this message, chat? You tell me. You tell me, do you like this? Do you like that they sent this message or would you rather that they sent nothing? What would you prefer? What would you prefer, chat? Nothing or this? Chiss school Q&A content, please. Yep, we're gonna, we're gonna do this in just a second. Love it, like it, sent it. I like this. No. Marauders. This. Love the message. Yes. We love it. Love it. Communication's always good. Q&A is great. Yes. Yeah, people love this. Jacob, thank you for subscribing. A message like this takes a while to write, and usually nobody has the job to do this. But these messages. Lattice, thank you for the $5 super. We were shocked when you took him in the first place. Well done with serving justice. Respect. Best live stream ever. Hey, thank you, Lattice. I appreciate you. Um, nothing I like to be surprised. Hilarious. More often than not, people like this kind of stuff. It makes them feel included. I feel included. I mean, I find out about this the same time you do. I literally find out the same time you do. Hell yeah. Good initiative. Can I help you in your KVK? I, I can advise you from the videos I've made, but I don't know if I can do much more than that. Question. Once a player has all their buildings and research upgraded, the building and research speedups are useless. Can leftover speedups be exchanged for other items? Well, that's a great question that basically everyone who hits T5 wonders. Players have been reaching the max level far sooner than we expected. I don't think, I really don't think the developers of this game expected it to be as popular as it became. I really don't think that they did. Because I don't know if you know this, by the way. Ready, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. I don't know if you know this, by the way, but um, when you bought a gold chest back in the day, like way back in the day, like it gave your alliance a lot more goodies than it gives today. Like they had to tone back the rewards from gold chests substantially. To alliance members, right? The, the alliance chest is what I'm talking about, to be clear. The gold alliance chest, they really tone back the amount that you get. I, I really don't think they were expecting people to spend as much money as they did. I really don't think they were expecting that. Which is why people are getting to the finish line so much faster than I think anyone was expecting. Um, it's true once you fully leveled up all buildings and finished all your research, um, the speed ups don't really have any value. We're working on ideas for how players could still use them. Our initial idea is something like a recycle shop where you can exchange their extra speed ups for various items. There are a lot of finer detail details to work out. This is very good. This is very promising. This is good. I like this change. I like that. Silver chests are worthless. It's true. For late game players, they are. And the developers say we agree. 
In the early stages, they're good. In the late stage, they suck. So silver ch chests are going to be unchanged, and maybe they add another chest. Kind of a bummer, bummer that I have like 10,000 silver keys. Rip Chiskul. Rip Chiskul. Oh, well. Lilith is the second or third biggest mobile game company now? Is it really? That can't be. That can't be. They're, I'm pretty sure they're a startup. That can't be right. What about some of those other mega crazy companies? You know the ones I'm talking about. The big ones. I mean, like, I know Supercell's got to be the biggest, but, like, it can't be number two. Open them all right now? Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. Lag in the Silk Road is bad. Everyone worked just as hard to win, so why should others get great prizes while I get garbage? Uh, the Silk Road was one of our earlier events. A number of participating players has increased. Flaws have become more apparent. We're optimizing the reward system. Um, but there are more than two issues we're trying to address while fixing things. We hope that, it, uh, with that in mind, it's getting a very big rework. All right, cool. Tencent owns Supercell, 70% of the mobile game market. Holy jeez. That's insane. That's insane. Completely insane. I wish I could get some of the old themes and frames. Will those ever be, be re-released? And um, we're very glad to see players' enthusiasm for the frames and avatars. Um, it's the early in uh, interest that motivated us. They're like badges of honor for old rock players. This is true. This is true. For old rock players, it's kind of like proof you were in the old days. But we feel bad about how new newer players haven't had a chance to get them. We're considering bringing some of the older themes and avatars back, but with a focus that they would be a good thematic fit. Um, what to do for players who already have them uh, and other issues along those lines. Yeah, so, you know, look. Hey, Chris, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Smash Squad. You know, look, there's a couple ways to slice this. The way that I would do this, and I'm not a game developer, and that doesn't mean this is the right way to do it, but what I would do for this is when Halloween comes around, I would have a pick one. I would have the equivalent of a pick one chest, and I would have three Halloween themes. That's what I would do, right? Halloween comes around, and I would have this theme available. I would have the other Halloween theme available, and I would have a new Halloween theme available, and I would make it a pick one. Take your pick. Which of the Halloween themes do you want? That means the OG players get their, you know, extra special old thing. They still have that, and they can get the new thing. That's the way. That is exactly how I would do that. Evan, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Smash Squad. I appreciate you. Is King Talib totally zeroed? He is. 100% zeroed. Pick one checks is the perfect solution. I think so too. I think so too. You want the old city skin? That's fine. Take your pick. Do you want do you want the old one? Do you want the new one? Right? Like, this city skin is pretty dope. This is it's a pretty dope city skin. Granted, it makes no sense. It's a very illogical it's a very illogical city theme. First of all, where the hell do you get a pumpkin that big to put on top of your castle? And second of all, why the hell are you putting a pumpkin on top of your castle? That makes no sense. This is not strategically advisable for defense. Who puts a pumpkin on their castle like that? No one puts a pumpkin on their house like that either. Like no one has ever done this. <laughs> uh, but that's why it's an awesome skin. It makes no sense whatsoever. That's what, that's what makes the design exceptional. That's what makes the design good. That's what makes the design really good for YSS. Right? That's what makes YSS's design so good. I'm sure you've seen this. 
I'm sure you've seen this. In case you haven't, in case you've been living under a rock, I'm going to go spend my action points inefficiently just to show you. The reason that YSS is so damn cool is that it makes no sense whatsoever. That's what makes it an awesome design. Watch this. This makes no sense. Are you ready? First, Lohar's active skill. And then, this makes no sense. None of that made sense. An anchor comes from the high heavens, summoned by YSS from the high heavens, and splashes water. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, and that's why it's glorious. Every design should be equally confounding and nonsensical. That's what makes them good. Just calling that out in case there was any question. I'm doing it again because it makes no sense. Turn your sound effects on and it's even better. I'm sure they are better with the sound effects. It's freaking cool. Exactly. It makes no sense, which is why it's cool. That's why it's cool. Fine, I'll turn on my sound. That's fine. Sound is coming on. That's fine. Sound is on. Hope it's not too loud. Rip chat if it is. Mark B and Binsar, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the Smash Squad. I appreciate you. He fought naval battles in Japan. Not by throwing anchors. I like, yes. It that's this is why it's such a good design. Like he was actually an admiral. It makes sense that it is like nautical themed, but throwing an anchor from the high heavens, it doesn't make any sense. That's why it's good. Tusker, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unpin my hoodie promotion now. I promoted it simply because somebody said like, Dude, check it out. This hoodie is amazing. And I'm like, you want one? Here's where you can get it. But I'm not trying to I'm not trying to push stuff. Lohar got the best lines in rock. Press F if you agree. What? What? Right? And like and like not only by the way is his animation freaking amazing. Like I, I know you've seen this probably, right? But then you go and you put YSS in the garrison. And, and they were not lazy with YSS. I mean, they you can tell. You really can tell that they spent more effort on YSS than they did other commanders. And, like, how can you tell? Let me show you. Let me show you what that looks like. Reno, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Not only does YSS have the single best animation for an attack in the game... Not only does he have the single best animation of any commander in the game, bar none, not even close, not even close, but he has two animations. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, both of them on theme. And look at that dragon boat. And then compare it to Theodora. What is this chicken little bullshit for Theodora? What is that? What is this chicken little crap? The sky is falling. What is that crap? What is that crap? What, how is stones falling from the sky related to Theodora? Someone help me out. I don't know the answer. Is that some sort of dark humor? Was Theodora at some point... Like... St like... People were stoned in public execution? Like... What... How is this Chicken Little stuff relevant? I don't understand. Salim, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Someone tell me, like, how did Theodora die? How did that happen? I don't actually know. Historically, what happened? I don't know. But I can tell you that that dragon boat was a real thing right there. That was a real thing. Dragon boat was a real thing. Which, by the way, which, by the way, also makes no sense whatsoever that from my city, from my garrison, I've got a boat forming water to assault you. 
How the hell does that work? Somebody, somebody tell me how that's supposed to work. Yeah, man. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. How does that crap work? And not only does it, like, come out of the city. It, look at that. It started all the way over here. And goes... Oh, I'm going to knock over my green screen. It goes through the city to the other side. How does that work? I think Theodora's pebbles are cool, says somebody. Just cool going on a rant is hilarious. I'm just telling you why YSS is the best skill animation design in the game, bar none. Not even close. It's, it's not even close. It's not even comparable. Oh man, that's really serious. That's how Theodora goes? That's really shitty. Uh, well, alright. That sucks. Right, and when I talk about how it's weird that it like starts, no, I love that animation. I love that it makes no sense whatsoever. Theodora died of cancer, she smoked a lot. Shit. That's really shitty. That's really shitty. Don't smoke, people. Prioritize your health. Otherwise, you end up with a skill animation of stupid rocks falling from the sky. I heard that Martel Theodora does really good. That's what I heard too, but most of these battle reports were not run correctly. Her dad was a bear keeper? What? Theodora lived in the Byzantine era? He took it, lol, Chiskul troll? Maybe. You feeling saucy with the language? You're saucy. I'm not saucy, what are you talking about? Alright, thank you YSS. Very good. Very good. Now I have to look up. Now we have to actually go look up. Theodora. Hold on, why am I looking her up? F that. It's, it's in here already. It's in here already, it's in the game. I don't know if they put the cause of death though, that's kind of a weird thing to put into a mobile game, but maybe they do. Maybe they do. What's your story, Theodora? What's your story? Every commander has a story to tell. Tell me your story. Dad, the Joker. Devs should allow multiple armies to be launched when clicking a city. I agree. That would be amazing. If you could launch multiple armies at a time based on your presets. God, I can't tell you how long I spend clicking my city, sending one march, and then another march, and then another march, and then another march, and then another march. I appreciate that super chat. Um, where are you at, Theodora? Down below? Alright. Who the heck were you? Wife to Justinian I, an empress of the Roman Empire. That's kind of cool. She came from humble beginnings, first an actress, then a wool spinner. How she gained affection for the heir to the empire, we do not know. Her legacy is an empress who ruled as a virtual equal of her husband. However, is set in stone. Is that a, is that a, is this a pun? Did I get enough sleep? Never. Never. One of Theodora's most famous accomplishments came in the year 532. All right, so smoking wasn't a thing. I got trolled. But don't smoke. This is a terrible idea. Don't do that. Nika riots. The emperor and his advisors were thinking the city was lost and preparing to escape into exile. Theodora was able to persuade them to stand and fight, putting down and paving the way for a new ruler, which, oh, great, uh, great size, improving the lives of women throughout the empire that's awesome dude so what where do the rocks come from and all this she took charge when her husband was ill huh she's cool caffeine we do have a tea emoji we do have a tea emoji and tea is caffeinated i'll rock a few of those in the chat along with some searching because you should always be searching Always be searching for that next thing in your life. You know what I'm talking about? How are you making yourself better every single day? Focus on that. What are you searching for? That's what I'm searching for. What are you searching for? It's got real. Super real. Alright. 
I think. Oh, thanks, thanks, Juggernaut, for the resources. That's lovely. Um, I think that covered everything in the face to face. Do you have any other suggestions? You can provide it. We'll give you another one. Yeah. She was killed by YouTube trolls. Ugh. Trolls. There's always a troll. There's always a troll. She defended Constantinople when her husband was away on campaign. Throwing boulders and rocks from the ramparts. That's an interesting idea. I would love if they put something like that into the description of the skill. You know what I mean? Like the origin of that commander's skill would be kind of cool. I think that would be kind of cool. Don't you? I do. I do. As we go in, frantically spend all the resources at every opportunity on our restart. We're going to do that. Boom. Devs were stoned. That's why they chose that animation. That seems unlikely to me. That seems fairly unlikely to me. Doesn't that seem unlikely to you? I realize I went to my restart, but there's still a lot of stuff we need to do on my main. So I'm just going to pop a few buffs and then I guess go back to my main account. Because there's still a lot to do. Jeez. This, I'm going to bring this march back. Uh, Yeah, come on home. Come on home. All right. We're going to go back to our main. We got a couple more things to do. You should do a Zuba live stream on your second channel. We got some Zuba fans up in here. Bow, 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 Zuba. Hey, by the way, is the stream better with the sound effects or without? Game sound is delayed? Wait, is the game sound delayed? Are you sure? Redline, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Redline 1341. I know you, Redline. Good to see you again. You get the badge, name in green. You get all the channel emojis. The good stuff, baby. It is delayed? Seriously. Okay, I'll shut it off. We'll have to fix that. That's not okay. Weird. All right. CPO squad, you're funny. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel, Redline. Redline joined us in Kingdom 51 way back in the day. Way back in the day. He was in Kingdom 51, and uh, then I think followed with Death Squad other places. Luckman, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. So one of the things I needed to do was go spend in here. I realized I got a mysterious merchant pop in the middle of all of that that I didn't do anything with. Got to do that. And I just I spend my resources on almost everything I can get from here. Almost everything that I can obtain, I do. And we need to do trivia real quick. Maybe we can get chat to just bang out this trivia with me. Maybe we can get chat to bang out the trivia. And then we go and do Golden Kingdom on my restart, I think is the play. Let's rock this out. I'm so bad at this. Which city-state of ancient Greece was known for its brutal military training and, and bravery? I mean, I just have to guess here, but I'm just going to, I'm going to guess that this is Sparta, right? Come on. This is Sparta. Thank gosh, that was the right answer. In Greek mythology, which hero quested for the golden fleece? How, why am I supposed to know this? Why am I supposed to know who quested for a golden fleece? What was the significance of the golden fleece anyways? Kitty Kitty is searching. I'm always searching. Olympia? What? Oh, there's, no, there's no Olympia. Jason? <laughs> okay, Jason it is. Chat, chat's got my back. 
Which art group is known as the National Treasure of Canada? So I know Cirque du Soleil is a thing. But like a National Treasure of Canada? Golden Fleece brought people back to life? Oh shit, that's crazy. Invincible Cloak? Cirque du Soleil. Canada isn't real. That's not true. All right, Cirque du Soleil. I've done. I've been to multiple Cirque du Soleil. It's amazing. I didn't know it was a national treasure of Canada. Man, I'm learning. <laughs> Pascal, I'm Canadian in all caps. Oh my god, chat loves this. By the way, I think you all are are in a good way breaking my chat. You're chatting at a rate of seventy seven. A minute. That's more than one chat a second. I don't think chat has ever been as active as when I do quizzes. It's crazy. Wales officially became part of the kingdom in Great Britain during the reign of which king? Half of I know. C? B? Oh, you guys are all over the place on this one. You guys are all over the place. Holy moly. I see literally every answer represented. Meanwhile, someone's still saying Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> Holy jeez. Oh my god. I think you all are just trying to out, out, out chat the chat record. 136 chats a minute right now. So you have like two chats a second. What? <laughs> Oh crap. I mean, I'm pr I'm practically just guessing at this point. I'm practically just guessing. Oh my gosh. Wales officially became genius genius level execution. Which of the following is not one of Pelagius's passive skills? Charge is an active skill, isn't it? Isn't charge an active skill? Charge is the first skill on Pelagius. There's really no reason to know the names of skills. So the fact that I know this is weird. Charge, active skill. Nailed it. Let's go answer that question. Let's go answer that. Which of the following is not one of Pelagius' passive skills? Thank you very much. Charge. Who founded the Kingdom of Asturias? Pretty sure that's Gaius. Pretty sure that's Gaius, but it might be Pelagius. Gaius or Pelagius? Asturias. I'm pretty sure it's Gaius. Gaius Marius, reformer of legions, invaded. Hmm. I think it's Pelagius, actually. Oh, and chat is Pelagiusing like crazy. Unruly rivalist. Jason, Pelagius, I'm Spanish. I'm pretty sure it's Pelagius. I'm pretty sure it's Pelagius. I don't know. Nailed it. Freaking nailed it! All right, which building was originally built in London to house the great exhibition of the works of industry of all nations? Dude, I have never seen this question in my life. I have never seen this question. Which building was originally built in London to house the great exhibition of the works of industry? Of all nations. The Pyramid of Giza? That's not even an option. The White House? I guess we'll go with Crystal Palace. Yes. <laughs> okay. Which of the following resources cannot be found in your genes? What the crap? I've seen this question. I've seen this question. I hope there's no lead in my jeans. 
Please say, please tell me there's no lead in my jeans. Please. Copper, lead. Please tell me there's no lead in my jeans. Thank goodness. Oh, that was giving me anxiety. Galileo's Leaning Tower of Pisa experiment overturned a theory of which ancient Greek scientist? Ancient Greek scientists, huh? Socrates, Archimedes, Aristotle, and Plato. There's no King Talib in your genes? No, there's not. No, there's not. <laughs> Shout out Guam, my dude. Holy jeez. You all are chatting almost four chats a second. That is the most live stream chat engagement I've ever had. Bar none. Not even close. Not even close. Aristotle is the answer. Which of these is used to rally Alliance troops? Well, it's not the monument. And it ain't the barracks. That's where you train your infantry. And it's not the Alliance Center. That's where you help people. You rally troops in the castle. Genius level execution. Really, the chat made this possible. Chat, I'd like to take this moment to thank you, the real MVPs, for helping me score well on my midterm. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. I normally don't even do this quiz thing. You can see I've only received life tokens two out of three times. I normally don't even do it. All right. That was fun. That was actually surprisingly fun. Orville, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Great to have you as a sub. And hey, if you're enjoying this live stream, consider subscribing to the channel and throwing a like on the video. It does help the channel, and I do really appreciate that. All right, chat. Since y'all are feeling very froggy, That was crazy. Yo, that was, you just blew up my chat. My God. My God. Let's see here. We're in on this account. We got a lot of rewards we can claim. This is my restart. My restart's about 40 mil, which is not bad. It's not bad. Irvon, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate you. Damn banana says they are actually a frog. Okay. What made 1723 stand out on my restart? Um, you know, couldn't tell you. I just followed along with the group that was migrating. I spent zero effort in the kingdom selection. Not because it isn't interesting to me. Not because it isn't important to me. It's because I, I, dude, I don't have time for that. It's funny. I mean, someone commented yesterday. Um, you know, Chiskel's got time, you know, his, his live stream was only four hours. Most people work like an eight or nine hour day. And I was like, oh my God, a four hour live stream. Okay. So let me, let me tell you what goes into a four hour live stream. Besides the four hours of live streaming, there's at least 30 minutes of setup and prep just to make sure that like my equipment all works. Everything's good to go. I've advertised the stream and all the places I wanted to advertise it. Oh yeah, at least 30 minutes of, of setup and prep. Then there's making the thumbnail. That could take 15, 30 minutes, depending on how you know, complex it is. It could be an hour. Then there's following up on comments and analytics. Putting in title tags, description. All the good stuff. Do I even sleep? Not really. Not really. I would recommend you sleep. Do, do what I say, not what I do. Um, should I put talent points into anybody? Not really. Nope, nothing important here. All right, great. Let's do this then, shall we? People don't understand the work in streaming. It's, ridic it's ridiculously time-consuming. Streaming is ridiculously time-consuming. It's crazy 
how time consuming it is. But it's very fun. I love this. I love this. I, I really enjoy this. I really enjoy this. I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it. And I really do. And I really, really do. Choose one to buy first Guan Yu or Alexander. Alexander the Great. Easy. Easy question. Easy answer. My best tank, unfortunately, is Ethel Sepio. That's really kind of the best I got here. That's the, I think that's the best I've got on this account. I'm going to bring an E-Song, and my best pair is unfortunately going to be Kusu. The best we've got. What's the Season 2 KVK Commander? Uh, Wu Zetian. What you get for that. Wu Zetian. We got, it. We got some infantry. We could bring that. I like Joan of Arc. I do like Joan of Arc. For cavalry, I think this is my best cav march. Mina double C. My last march might have to be Joan of Arc Boudica. Yeah. That's that's pretty much it. Mixed army. Sure. Okay. Let's do this. So, let's see. Is there some other commander I should be using? Let me just double check that real quick. Uh, my Charles Martel is a 5-4. I should be using Charles Martel. I should definitely be using Charles Martel. Is that more tanky? Hmm. Is that more tanky than the CPO? It might be. It either goes with the Joan of Arc or the Ethel. Who's tankier? Ethel's not really tanky. Joan is not really tanky. Edward or El Cid? Edward or El Cid might be an interesting consideration, actually. That, that's an interesting consideration. Let's do this. The Boudicca is going to go. The Boudicca is going to go. We'll go kind of like this. Okay. That I think is, an, is a good change. I mean, I do like the healing. Joan's got some healing. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. The Joan healing is good. The Joan healing is good. That's already legendary, so that's good. What do we got over here? E song. What is what does this Sid look like? Five four. You know the funny thing is that this skill right over here is almost the same as Kusunoki. I think Kusunoki's maybe better. Maybe better. Let's look at this. The first skill is going to do three targets. Uh, removes negative effects. Additional damage factor 250. So even if I if I hit two targets, I'm already doing as much damage factor. All I gotta do is hit two targets, and I'm doing as much damage factor as El Cid, but no disarm, but I remove debuffs. Not the worst. Plus he's got uh stats, plus he's got this. Yeah, this is the way to do it. Okay. Now for Sun Tzu, the alternative will be this guy. Mehmed, he's got good area of effect damage, damage factor 1,150. Compare that to this guy, Ulji, way more damage factor. Defense decrease is meaningful, but I mean, like, I could increase my troop attack and damage dealt by 16%. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's try that. I'm going to try that. Sun Tzu Mehmed is great. Yeah, I, I think that could be really good. I think that could be really good. Let's, let's run this. Confirmed. Here we go. This is hard. On my restart, this is much harder. Ooh, basic armor off the bat. Yeah, baby, that's really good. That's really good. We make our way around the map here. 
Very nice. Getting that gold. That guy in the corner, we're probably just going to ignore. All right. Good. Gold is good. And more gold is good. Okay. Can't explore there. Making our way around the edges. Wow. That was weird. Okay. Healing. Do I just take the main boss now? Do I just go for the main boss? I think I, I do, right? Skip all the other stuff. There's really no reason to do the other stuff. Okay. And I want to try to have a tank. We'll do the tank like that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Good. This is good. Sweet. Let's go. Oh my gosh. We're losing so much power. Woo. Oh boy. Oh boy. <gasps> Wow! Whoa! Ooh, wow! Oh, that's so good! Oh my god, the choices are so good. Wow! Those choices are so good. The Boundless Horn is actually the best item. But there are other ways to get the Boundless Horn effect, I think. Whereas there's only one way to get the Conqueror effect. There are ways that you can get Rage from Calm Fury. But there's only one way to get Conqueror. And the downside of Conqueror is I don't actually have an extra March yet. I don't even have another March that I could use. Which is a little weird. It's a little weird to take it, given that I have no march. But I think that's the best item. Conqueror has to be the best item. Six marches? Dude. Six marches is insane. There's only one way to get six marches. It's that item. That's it. It's the only way. Ew. Uh, I guess I gotta fight these guys. All right. Oh, this is good. This is very good. I'm gonna super swarm this guy like this. Yeah. Cool. Very good. Keep making. Oh, ooh. Disc of Destiny. See, here's a way to enhance your healing effects. There's other ways to improve your healing. Health of front row, damage of all troops. The best thing for me would be anything but gold. Cool, gold. You can get the Conqueror from the wheel spins. Uh, interesting. Okay. Okay, making our way around. Another square blocked. We got a lot of blocked squares here. There we go. There's the recruitment camp. Okay. Which of these do I take? Probably this. Is it going to be cavalry? Is it going to be cavalry? Or do I take this one? Joan plus Sun Tzu. I mean, I can see that being really good. Joan Sun Tzu, what do you want me to do, chat? Yes, it's calves. Calves? I mean, this is... These are good commanders. Two legendaries? Joan Sun Tzu, important. All right. Let's try it. Joan Sun Tzu. There it is. Ooh, some T5 up in there. And it's all infantry. That's nice. Okay, that's a good pickup. That's a good pickup. Now where do we go? Gosh, we got a lot of marches we have to fight. We have a lot of marches we have to fight here. Gupstar, thank you for the $1 mustache super chat. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Wow. 
See, if I fight this guy, then I still have to fight this guy, and that's only going to give me two spaces. If I fight this guy and this guy, it's going to give me four spaces. So that seems like a better play, even though they're slightly stronger. So I'll fight the ones on the left and hope for the best here. And let's bring in my new march, because we can. And let's do this. This is exciting. Is that how I want it set up? Yeah. Sure. Cool. All right, we can open the one spot, and we found the boss. Now from here, what do we do? Do we just fight the boss? Relics. I guess we just fight the boss. I guess we just fight the boss. Fight. Okay, how do I set this up? I gotta reverse my, my board setup here. I gotta reverse my board setup. I want Ethelflaed to be tanking in the bottom. I want my Esong to be hitting lots of folks in the bottom. My Sun Tzu's should probably be in the front row. Especially the Sun Tzu Joan of Arc. I want my Joan of Arc in the front. Because she can heal. Too early for relics? Interesting. Okay. Fight it out. Took some damage. We do get a relic. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Wow. 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 I got to take Fury of the Warrior. No question about it. 1,000 Rage at the start of the battle is insane. It's insane. Completely insane. Um, do I fight this guard? Do I fight this guard? I think I do. Honestly. Honestly, I think I do. And the reason I think I do, we'll find out. But I think... I'm gonna heal my Ethelflaed pretty soon anyways, in the healer hut. I got some gold. Gold is fine. And I got some more gold. That's good. Well... I feel like it was worth exploring. I feel like it's worth exploring. I don't know that I need the gold that much, but I think the exploration is kind of worth. I think that is worth. The amount of damage I'm taking here is very small. It's very small. And do I get anything? Gold. More gold. That's good. You know, the purple guy, I would take a lot more damage if I try to fight him. I'm going to use this healer's hut. We're going to heal our tanking march that is really weak. And we hit the next floor. That was a good floor. That was well done. Good work, chat. Karma luck from the Garden of Infinity. Could be. Our Garden of Infinity is terrible. It's the literal worst. The worst that's ever been done. As we go and explore around the map now. So far, so good. Getting a bunch of chests. Disc of Destiny. Hey, yo. Ooh, damage taken by the front row reduced by 7% will be nice. Reduce defense of all enemies. Increase the attack of infantry. Y'all, we got choices. 200 gold. Well, I guess it could have been worse. Could have been worse than 200 gold. Uh, ooh, there's the boss. Okay. Wow, look at all these spaces we've uncovered. Elite Detector is good. Oh, man, two more chests. Woo! The good stuff. All right. Well? Well? I guess we take the boss, right? Garrett, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Smash Squad. I appreciate you. You took the temple at 14 UTC in Kingdom 1918. Very nice. Very cool. Oh, I already finished my tea. All right, I gotta switch it up. I gotta switch it up. Do I use a relic or not? I don't know if I use a relic or not. 
I'm gonna fight this guy. And then I'm gonna use a relic, maybe. Can't decide. Still deciding. If I should use a relic or not. Alright, here we go. Fire this off. Yeah, that was a good choice. Alright, what do we get? Nothing. Crap. Use the armor one. Save it. I'm tempted to use it. I'm tempted to use it. Smash the like button. Keep stacking for around 6th or 7th floor. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that I don't need it yet. And I have plenty of room for relics. My armies are in good health. I think they are in good health. I think we just fight it. Let's just straight up fight it. We're going to take a lot of damage doing this, though. We're definitely going to take a lot of damage doing this. This looks good. This looks pretty good as a configuration. The only thing I might change is like this. That seems like a good change to me. Sort of. I need the Joan of Arc up top. That's fine. Let's do this. Watch this. I'm not going to skip it. Watch what happens when I start the fight with a thousand rage. Watch this. Watch how insane this is. They connect. Boom. AoE damage. Sun Tzu. Boom. Oh my god. So much damage. It's kind of like healing. Because you take less damage from folks because you've hit so many of their marches down already right out of the gates. It's very powerful. This actually went pretty well on the whole. I'm going to need to do some healing, but like that went very well. We did take some big damage for a couple of those marches. We did take some big damage. New legendary. I mean, like... It's going really well. This is going really well. Gloves of Awakening. When you're less than 30% strength, your troops get a healing effect. Or Thor Odinson's Hammer. The Glorious Thunder Hammer. No, definitely not borrowed from other, other games or lore. genres it's got to be the hammer it's got to be the hammer right yeah i know the healing is really good the hammer's so good well chad thinks the gloves huh i think the hammer's really good because my fights are going to kind of run on for a while boom healing item restore all troops by five percent beautiful this floor is cleared we're slaying it. Completely slaying it. All right. Golden chest. Rip it open. What do we got in the old hut over here? I think I have to take the deadly bolt. I have to take the elite armor. That's 800 currency. That leaves me with 300 currency. The 300 currency, I could restore 20% to one of my troops. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. I like that. I like those choices. I'm making those choices. And let's do this. On we go. Onward. We're now 8 out of 9 relics, so we're going to have to start relicking. We're going to have to start relicking for sure. Alright, making our way around the edge here. Trying to... Wow, okay, so much for making our way around the edge. So much for that. Let's spin the Disc of Destiny. 30% at back row attack damage would be amazing. Reduce attack of enemy troops is good too. Let's see it. Shell Shock, thank you for the $1 super chat. I appreciate you. 200 Karak gold. Could be better, could be worse. Let's try to clear top row because this guy is so weak. This guy is so weak. That's the way we're going to do this. Put the ethyl over there. Rearrange like that. Skip the battle. Well, all four marches are together. Actually, because all four marches are together, I wouldn't normally do this this way, but I do kind of want those active skills to just instantly fire off and wreck them, you know? Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's make our way over. Ooh, wow. Another relic. We're nine out of nine on relics. That's crazy. 
completely crazy. Uh, oh, all right. Rochelle, thank you for the $5 super. Could you live stream Marauders and pre-KVK? I'd rather hang here than with my bosses. You got it. Yeah, we're going to do that. We'll live stream Marauders. That sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm definitely in. I'm definitely in for that. Do you think we're having Eve of the Crusade? I feel like we should, but I don't know. The countdown, it, does, it feels different to me. The countdown feels different to me. It doesn't feel like the countdown we'd normally have for like, oh, we're about to have Eve of the Crusade. Like normally they do the matchmaking and they go right into the Eve, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Um, we'll do it like this. Skills will fire off right away. Perfect. Let's go. Boom. Not bad. Not bad. Very minimal damage taken. Ooh. Rising Rage. You know I'm all about that Rage Gen. The Rage Engine is where it's at, people. That's where it's at. Oh, crap. All right, I guess I got to hit this guy. <laughs> guess I got to hit this guy. Live stream Marauders on Monday. I'm pretty sure Marauders are sooner than that. I think Marauders are like... Really soon. Aren't Marauders... At reset? Check main Chiskel. They sent a pre-KVK announcement? Did they? Did they? Victory. Good for us. Rising Rage again! That's definitely the jam. Right there. Rising Rage. We just do that over and over. We just do that over and over. And we can recruit more troops. Oh, wow. And we gotta pick up that bolt, but we can't. Because we need to use some relics. And we could resurrect an army. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we can recruit. Um... So this is awkward. An expertise e song. Wow. What's the choice, chat? What's the answer? I don't know what the answer is. I can take an expertise e song with a 1000 Ramses. That's kind of gross. Or I can take a double expertise Joan Sun Tzu. I don't know. That's kind of tough. Archangel, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Thanks, Mujo. Go with the E song. Chat wants the E song? Really? Let's think about that. The, I mean, like. Really? I don't, this is a hard choice. I think the answer is Sun Tzu. You're saying Joan is useless because I already have two Jones. But what am I going to replace? What, what, what march would I replace with just Esong? What march <clears throat> am I going to replace with just Esong? I don't know what I would replace. I already have Joan and Sun Tzu. That is true. Get more tanks. The Joan does nothing for you when you already have it. That's not wrong. That's not wrong. All right. We'll do the E-Song. I'll do the E-Song. Cortex, is there actually a KVK announcement I need to go look at? Is that really a thing? Is that really a thing? Um, I'm going to switch one of these out. Uh, I think I'll save the E-Song. I think I save the E-Song for later. Yeah, this looks fine. Cool. Ramsey's Kusunoki. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. We still got to find the boss. We've still not found him yet. I checked Rock Discord. I didn't see anything. Good to know. Thank you, Cortex. Thank you, Cortex. Much appreciated. 
All right, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna shred this. Boom. All right. Wow. Not a lot in those spaces. I gotta fight this guy. He's only 1.8. That seems fine. I can recover 5% of my troop strength and 20% to a single march. It's really good. It's quite good. I should swap in my Sun Tzu for this fight, or my, my new E song, just to get him a little low and then heal everybody up. I should do that. Um, I think so. Or there's an argument to be made. I should just heal everybody proactively here. Audacious Golem doesn't like this event. Man, this event's fun, I think. This event is kind of fun. Let's um, heal up this march. We'll pick that up because we can. And let's fight this. Um, no, I want to heal everybody 5% because I'm just going to do more damage. It, this, is a, this is one of those things where it makes sense to use the item beforehand, I think. Oh, you know what I could do? I mean, now that I've spent all these stupid items. <clears throat> this guy's, no, he's 1.8. I'm going to fight him. He's so low power. I'm just going to fight him. I got to fight this guy. This should be fine to fight. This should be a totally fine fight. Configuration here is good. We'll, we'll watch this. We'll see how it plays out. It should be fine. If you die at first floor, it sucks. Yes, that would suck. It would definitely suck to die on the first floor in this game mode. Dude, look at this Esong positioning. Look at how much damage he does to everybody. Oh, man. Yeah, we slaughtered this. Easy. Easy. Who knew when you start a fight with a thousand rage? Dude, this was not much different than when we fight a green. Not much different than when we fight a green. Although, no freaking reward. Oh, well. Oh, well. We're going to clear this floor, apparently. We're going we're gonna to 100% clear this floor. Now we got to start using some items. We could do... Um, we could do the cheap bolt. Let's use a cheap bolt. Nah. Uh, the bolts I could use infinitely, and the armor reduction only stacks so much. Let's use an armor reduction. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Now we'll fight him. Okay. Uh, we're going to put the tank up top. Big AoE damage up there. Um, this is my Sun Tzu Joan of Arc. And I've got my Minamoto. I'm going to swap out the Mina. I'm going to get in. I don't think that's right either. I mean, the AoE damage is really good here. And there's some T5s, which is really nice. But I also feel like this Sun Tzu Joan of Arc, it's good. Let's get rid of this. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get rid of the Sun Tzu Mehmed and put that back in. I don't know if that makes sense either. The AoE is really good. All right, let's just go like this. Let's just try it like this. That seems fine. The only thing I feel weird about is I would like to start the fight with all my AoE hitting. So I kind of want to do this. Then I don't have a, as much of a tank march going, but I really want that E song damage to just, and the Sun Tzu damage to just like shred them at the start. What should you max for KVK season one? E song. E song is the answer. You're picking only one. If you're talking epics, Sun Tzu is a really good epic. All right. This is going decently. Yeah. Gavish, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Smash Squad. Boom. There's our item. We really didn't even take that much damage. Wow. 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 At the start of battle, gain a 10 second shield which can absorb a large amount of damage. Damage factor 500. Slam dunk. Not even a choice. 
War God's protection. Not even a choice. We have full cleared this floor. 100% full clear. Cool. Next floor it is. Gammon Pro, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Smash Squad. All right. Ooh, Disc of Destiny. Hello. Hello. Dude, look at this exploration going on right now. It's going so well. Ooh, Junior Medicine. That's nice. We're looking good on relics. We're looking good on healing. I mean, we're generally looking pretty good. Oh my gosh. More healing. More healing. We'll spin this. <gasps> rising Rage, baby. Come on, Rising Rage. Give me that Rising Rage. <gasps> oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We're definitely going to win this. Caden Wallace, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Smash Squad. We got it. Legendary. Rising Rage. Beautiful. Maru Felix. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Smash Squad. Um, I think we should heal. I think we should heal. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to heal everybody 5%. And we're going to heal one person 20%. That march is going to be the Ethel uh, CPO. Perfect. Pick up that item. Be on our way. So much luck. I feel very fortunate. I do feel very fortunate. We'll go like this. It's really interesting. I find myself wanting to sort of change my strategy. Given that I start the fight with so much rage, you know? It makes me want to change my strategy around a little bit, which is, oh, crap. That's not great. All right, now we got to go over here. Fight this guy. Osman Expertise is better to pair with Sun Tzu. Osman Expertise is very good. It's a very good expertise. It really is. Um, yeah, this is fine. That's fine. All right, now we get a look around. Ooh, new relic. Attack of front row troops. Heck yeah. 10% attacks. Great. There's the boss. Okay. That's good. I kind of want to fight this guy just to see what's around. There's too many spaces here to not fight this guy. There's, there's too much value potentially in this part of the map to not fight this guy and, and, and try to claim it. Let's see if we can. Oh, that's bad. Hey, healing hut. Totally worth it. That was 100% worth it. It's even worth fighting this guy for the two spaces, quite frankly. Because there might be something good. Look at that. We didn't even really take much damage. What do we get? Nothing. Well, you win some, you lose some, I suppose, huh? My, oh, it might be worth it. There might be stuff back there. All right. Well, let's, do, let's use up some relics. We're going to use a damage relic. Your troops take 30% less damage from the Guardian. Seems good. All right, let's fight him. Not good as Healing Hut? Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. When we got nothing, that was not as good as the Healing Hut. All right, uh, let's do this. Victors. We took a little bit of damage, but not an astonishing amount of damage. Oh my god! This is like the best run ever. We, we, I think we had the literal best run ever yesterday on my main, but like unscathed, it, I mean, now we go infinite, right? We're like unbeatable with the 15% recovery of troops. We're like unbeatable, right? How do you beat this? You can't. You can't beat this. You can't beat this. Unscathed. Unbelievable. Another healing hut. All right. Cool story. Heal it. And heal. I mean, maybe I should have fought this guy. 
Heal another one? Which one do I heal? I guess this one is technically the weakest. I think they're sorted by strongest to weakest, right? Are they? Maybe not. I thought they were. I'll heal my CPO. All right, cool. Next level. So lucky with healing. Dude, we're killing it. We're, we're completely killing it right now. Okay, well, that, that was a little garbagey of a start, but whatever. We're still doing great. We're still doing really great. All right. Fire it up. First battle. Ooh. Every time you win, you increase your health of all troops. Nice. Josh, thank you for the $5 super. I'm from Kingdom 46. Excited to play versus your kingdom. It should be a lot of fun. I agree, Josh. Thank you for that super chat. Nothing but respect for the coalition we're fighting against in KVK. Really looking forward to it. Should be a lot of fun. Really great group. Thank you again for the super chat. I appreciate you. Yeah, our KVK should be a lot of fun. Boom. 50 gold. And let's spin the Disc of Destiny first. See what we get. Back row troops health will be... Ooh, unscathed. That's what we want. This is what we want. The purple thing. Nope. Didn't get it. It was technically that's purple too, but no. Karaku gold has a purple background. Not the item we were looking for. Okay. So who do we hit? If I hit this guy, I open up potentially three, four spaces. If I hit this guy, I potentially open up four spaces, and this one's weaker. So I'll hit this one. How can I join the members-only Discord? Audacious Golem, uh, all you need to do is integrate your Discord account with your YouTube. It's a couple clicks in the settings of your Discord. All right, uh, let's do this, shall we? Boom. Pretty good victory. What do we got? Okay, chest is good. Gold is fine. Uh, more gold. All right. Oh, yeah, let's recruit somebody. Ethelflaed Joan of Arc or Julius Caesar Barca? I think the pick has to be Ethel Joan, unfortunately. Because my Caesar is like 5100. My Barca is 1000. Zero, zero, zero. My Ramses is like zero 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 zero. I mean, this is the pick. There it is. All right. Now I hit, I hit this guy. And I think... Who do I take out? Who comes out of the lineup? I have a Joan Martell in the front. I think that goes away in favor of the... Ethel Joan. It's even got T5. I mean, okay, barely any, but I think that that's better. I think that's better than the Martel. Just for that AoE goodness, you know? All right, cool. This is good. Uh, not bad. Not great. Not great. We took a lot of damage, but this one was a lot stronger. This one was a lot stronger. All right. Ooh. Good thing we did that in the order we did. Well, crud. This is a tough one. How do we get out of this situation? The one on the left has more spaces and is weaker. So we go to the one on the left. That's what we have to do. This just got spicy. This just got a lot more spicy, actually. All right, let's fight it. These are these are a couple tough fights. They're not these are not pushover fights. Um, how do we do this? I think I just go down a little bit here. Try to get a lot of AoE value. Jam that off. All right. We did get a new relic. That's good. Back row, damage of all troops. I like that damage of all troops by 3%. That's good. I got three, three in the front, three in the back. Um, I have a four, three, two, one Martel. Do I spend my 90s? No, don't don't use your universals on Martel. I don't think universals on Martel is a great plan. What do I do here? We're on floor seven, and we have three relics to deal with tough guys. 
We have three relics. I could just force a guardian to move. I could just force him to move. But that could still suck. If the boss isn't in here. That could end up being really bad. I think I'm just going to fight this guy. I'd rather not. See, I'd rather do the random teleport movement one when anywhere else except where I am is a value. But he could end up next to the next place I need to go explore, which would kind of suck. I think I got to kind of fight this guy. I'm going to bolt. Man, he could end up using a lot of items. Whatever, let's bolt him. Bolted. Now we fight him. Is what it is. Is what it is. All right. That seems fine. Yeah, that seems fine. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. We did get an epic item, which is good. Every time you win, increase your troop attack by 2%, or all your counter attack by 8%, or back row attack. I think I want war momentum. Let's take that. That's going to be net more stats, I think, than unifying bond, right? Let's think about that. 2%, 6 times. Yeah, definitely. Right? Yes. Technically, that'll end up being more stats. All right, here we go. We got there. We got there. There's the boss. There's the boss. We are using up... We did, we did really use up a lot of items here. But we are on floor 7, so we'll get some more. There's the damage reduction item. Now we go in on this. Smash that love button, fam. Feels good. Thank you, Rich White, for your support. We're going to take that Sun Tzu out. He's looking a little beat up. We'll put uh, another Sun Tzu. Uh, will I put that back in? Actually, yeah, I guess I kind of need some tanking. I kind of need some tanking. How many Joan of Arcs do I have in here at this point? I got one, two, two Joan of Arcs. That's fine. That's totally fine. Um, the Ethel Flood over here, though, is looking a little weak. I could take her out. Not a lot of tank marches left. Like, I could have Sun Tzu kind of tanking. That seems fine, doesn't it? Sun Tzu Mehmed? Not the tankiest. Not the tankiest. We'll do it like this. Okay. Cool. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I have a 1000 Ramses. Do I spend all my sculptures on him? No. No, you do not. Uh. All right. We got the live stream fairy maneuvering in the room. I think that means I get some more caffeine, which is kind of nice. Here's hoping. Woo. Thanks, live stream fairy. All right. This is not an easy fight. This is definitely not an easy fight. We're getting a little beat up. I'm not going to lie. Our marches are getting a little beat up. What do I use to play Rise of Kingdoms? I use an iPad Pro. But another alternative is to use Bluestacks if you have a solid computer. Links in the description. Using that link does support the channel. All right. We're getting a little beat up. But we did get the legendary reward. But I'm, I'm taking a little bit of a beating here. Taking a little bit of a beating. Whoa, what? Pendant of silence. When attacked, troops have a 10% chance to silence their attacker? What? When you defeat an enemy troop, heal a portion of your slightly wounded. I think that's what we have to do. I think we have to keep pushing the needle on healing. That's what I think we have to do, is push the needle on healing. Because the silence may or may not do anything. But healing will always do something. So, let's take the healing. And now we're in a little... We're in a little bit of trouble. We're looking pretty beat up at this point. Weirdly enough. Weirdly enough, this started as like the invincible run that, that I felt I could never lose. And now I'm like, uh-oh, we're, we're in trouble here. We are in trouble. What can we do? 
Restore all my troops by 10% is really good. I think we do need that. And the elite armor we definitely need to pick up. So that's 1,100. That leaves us 300 currency. Not a lot left that we could get. Not a lot left that we could get. The other option is senior medicine. One of my troops by 40%. I don't think we want to do that. I think we want to heal everybody. So I think we take these two. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Minion detector is really good. Reveals the location of all elite guardians for 300 is pretty good, but do I have some of those? I've got one of those. Haven't even used it yet. We are running low on items, though. We are running low on items. Do I take the elite detector? I might take the elite detector here. I could save the currency. The elite detector is pretty good. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Let's go to the next floor. We're in trouble. We're on floor eight, and somehow with this sick run, we're already in trouble, which is kind of crazy. Binding shackles. That's a nice pickup. Nice relic grab. All right. Going around the edge. Claiming the goodies. 80 more gold. That's good. We just burned all our gold. More gold. That's good. Okay. We already found an elite. And two little guys. Cool. Now let's use our healing relics. We're going to heal... I think I want to heal everything 5%, everything 10%. Yeah, I mean, we, we've got a lot of healing we need to do. Woo! Okay. Everybody 10%. Everybody 5%. And 20%, I'm going to use it on who? I mean, my marches are looking better now. They're looking better. Put it on my tank march. Confirm. All right. See what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Get our E song up top. I think I want to do this. Let's get the big skill damage right at the start. Also, maybe I should swap one of these out. Let's find out. What can I do here? You do a Sun Tzu Joan? That doesn't excite me. All right, I guess not. I guess not. Go like this. Skip the battle. Cool. Barely take any damage. Oh, another fight. All right, we'll fight this one. First KVK is going to be easy. That's cool. Glad to hear that for you. If you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing. Looks like I might have missed Mr. Vindicate's subscription earlier. Appreciate your subscribing. Appreciate your subscribing. Um, this is fine, but I'd kind of like to crank more damage. I'd kind of like to crank more damage here. Do it like this. That's good. That's good. Michael West, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Smash Squad. I appreciate you. Uh, wow. It's getting tough. It's getting tough. Having to take a lot of fights here. And we're not, we're still not going infinite. We don't heal after every fight. We are not yet going infinite. I misplaced some of my troops there. It looks like it didn't matter too much. Okay. Keep going. Gold is good. Another fight. Okay, there's the legendary. There's the legendary. I don't know that I clear the little guy. I don't need to. Sildirium, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Um, I mean, I'm going to use one of these items. I'm going to use one of these items here. Let's use the damage reduction. We fight him. Yeah, that's what we do. Here we go. Wow, they're all stacked in the bottom. Look at that. So because they're all stacked in the bottom, I want my AoE down there. Get my Joan of Arc over here. This Sun Tzu is looking a little weak. And he's not really tanky. We'll get another... Do I want another Joan? It doesn't really do anything. Their rage timing is all synced up. 
I guess not. I don't need another Joan. Right? Well, the bottom row, there we go. Go like this. There we go. Okay. That's good. That's good. Let's do this. Joseph, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you. Look at those shields at the start. Those are kind of cool. And every time I defeat a march, I should heal a little bit. It's nice. I just did a hospital upgrade. Will be much higher, but I've had 500,000 troops die. Wow. Yeah, good thing you're upgrading that hospital. Should I max a 5542 Ramses or start Alex? That's tough. That's tough. It depends if you want diversity or a single amazing march. I would almost argue you should have one single amazing march. Like a Ramsey's E Song pairing would be really good. That would be really good. But Alex is very exceptional, make no mistake, even at 5511. So I think you have two good choices. The question is if you want one amazing march or two okay marches. Whoa, oh, whoa. Boundless Horn at the start of the battle. Your troop with the least units recovers 5% of their troop strength. That seems really good. That seems really good. Right? Reduce all damage taken by front rows by 7% also seems really good. I don't know. I'm torn. I am torn. By the time you get to floor eight to nine, you'll have full, full troops. Hmm. Tips and tricks for alliance-based progression. I have a couple videos about that. I do have a couple videos about that. Let's take the boundless horn. I think that's good. I, I would make the argument that the 7% damage taken reduction by my front row, though, might be more net healing. But then the boundless horn is going to be really good on fights like... Maybe I take, oh, this is such a bad fight, but let me just give an example. If I take this fight, do I net heal now? Do I net positive heal? I don't know the answer. So let's figure that out. I'm going to remove this march in favor of this one. Okay. Do I net positive heal? I don't know. Let's... Figure it out. I don't want to really slay those marches up here. Like that. Yeah. Let's see if I heal. Net, do not heal. We're still not quite healing. It's not amazing. We can look at a couple spaces. We did find a healing hut. Which makes that fight completely worthwhile, by the way. That fight was worth it for sure. We could do the healing hut. We will do this march over here. And like I'll sub that right back in. Boom. Now we go to the next floor. Floor nine. Snow. It's, this is no walk in the park. Increase the amount of Karaku gold. Thank goodness. Could use some gold. I could definitely use some gold. Ooh, disc of destiny. Baby. Okay. There's another hundred Karaku gold. Disc of, oh, influential leader is sick. 15% troop capacity would be the jam. This would be the jam. Ah, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. That's the thing we could really use that would skyrocket our progress here. Um, this one on the bottom right only reveals one space for me. I might net positive heal from him, but we're going to go over here and do this. And we'll rearrange to kind of maximize... The AoE damage. I do have too many Joan of Arcs floating around. That's a tanky Joan of Arc, which I like. This Ethel Fled, that's tanky too. Do we have too many Joan of Arcs? What's this march? There's the extra Joan of Arc. All right. Swap that out for the Sue Meth Mehmed. There we go. Looking good. Boom. Um, Actually... Like, maybe net positive healed there. That's good. 
That's very good. Ooh, I forgot to use my guardian detector. Meant to use that. Meant to use that. I'm definitely going to use it on the next floor. Um, I think I net positive heal. I'm going to fight this guy. I think I'm healing. I think I'm healing, which is quite good. Switch those around. Switch this around. All right, let's roll. Yeah, that's really good. We're healing. Hardened shield, defensive back row, health of all infantry, attack of front row troops. I mean, I guess I'll do attack. Okay. We we'll get that spot. Nothing there, but we healed, so it's fine. Train T3 and upgrade to T4. Not a bad choice. Not a bad choice. Uh, this is basically the same fight all over again. Basically the same layout. Actually, yeah, doing it this way is pretty good. Uh, just watch that, switch that around. Okay. Not Definitely not a net positive heal, though. That was a tougher fight. All right, we make our way around the board. 70 gold is good. Recruitment camp is fantastic. We probably will end up needing that. And a healing hut's very good. Let's see what we get at the recruitment camp. Man, not great choices here. We could take another E song. I think that's the pick. I think that's the pick. Unless we want a 5 4 0 0 Sid with an expertise Herman and no talent points and no gear. I think we just take the E song, unfortunately. Well,. Or is it worth it to have the Herman with the Kusunoki? That might be better. I think this might be better. The two commanders might just be better. The rage reduction is good. I think this is better. I'm going to take it. Feels weird. Chat wants me to e song though, because it's hilarious. Esong is hilarious. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. All right, fine. I'll take it for the memes. All right. Guardian minion. Let's roll. Do I put in the other Esong yet? Not yet. Not uh Yeah, sure, actually. Sure. I'll swap in the full health Esong. That's a fine choice. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I'm going to bump... No, I'm going to leave this where they are. All right, let's roll. Boom. How did that march heal? Oh, that was a different march. Okay, great. Ugh. God, this board sucks. Wow. This is a tough board. This is why we needed to use that Elite Guardian Detector. Not going to lie. Hmm. How do we deal with this? If we go to the upper right, it's going to reveal two spaces. So we got to do the upper right. That's the one we have to do. I could just try to move him or shackle him. I could try to move him or shackle him. Floor 11 is worse. Yeah. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I could move him. It could end up poorly, though. Or I could shackle him. I don't. I need more than three spaces. I'm gonna move him. Get out of here. Perfect. Woo -hoo -hoo. That was good. That was really good. Now we fight this guy. All right. That was good. Shoved him to the corner. Shoved him to the corner. This Ethel probably needs a swap. What do we got? Sure. It's a, it's a nice swap. I think. Gosh, is that low too? Everybody's kind of low. Everybody's looking like they're in trouble. I guess we go back to this and beat it beat it up and then heal it. That's that's the play. We'll let it get beat up and then heal it. Alright. Cool. What do we got? Two healing huts is good. 
But our stinking boss, we still gotta fight somebody. Well, let's look at the troops. Man. All right. We got, we got some hard fights ahead here. I gotta heal. I think I gotta heal the Ethel CPO, right? Um, before the fight or after the fight? I think I heal up before. Let's do it. Now we fight. All right. Ethel can tank. We have a Joan of Arc in the middle. That's good. We have a Sun Tzu. Yeah, that's good damage. That's good damage. Okay. Let's do this. Skip the battle. That's fine. Oh my god. Look, look at how much damage we took on that tank march. Woo! Alright. There's the boss. Relic? Man, I'm like out of relics. I could take a full-on fight, but that's gonna suck. I could take a full fight, but that is gonna really suck. But then I, uh, but then I don't have any relics for the next floor. <laughs> this got out of hand. Yeah, we did talk about King Talib earlier. We did talk about King Talib earlier. I don't know what I do. I have one relic left. I think I use it. It's a really good relic. Well done. Now it's a very manageable fight. Now it is a very manageable fight. All right. Let's roll. Um, use it. Training T3 and upgrading is not better per se than tr just training T4. If that's what the question is. But if you're like, in the early game, you should train T3 if that's your best troop, and then as soon as you have T4, you should upgrade. That help? I have a video about this. Upg upgrade or train new. All right, we really killed it in this. We did very well. But we took a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Woo. Man. We're in some trouble. We are in some trouble. But Battlefield Oath. Each skill use has a 30% chance to fire off a skill in extra time. Yup, that's good. Snap that off. Reduce all damage taken by the back row. I mean, that's really good too. That's really good too, but Battlefield Oath is the grab. All right, let's heal the weak march. Which weak march though? Good lord. We have our tank march that's getting really low, or our damage march. I guess we have a lot of damage marches, theoretically, but only one tank. All right, next floor, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. And there's a thing over here. All right, let's detect the elites. Really? I use the elite detector on a floor where there's only one elite? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right, fine, I'll take 1% more damage to all my stuff. Recruitment camp it is. What do we got? Baby, that's now that's a march. Now that's a march that I'm talking about. Yeah, Esong Sid. Woo! That's a recruitment. That's a recruitment right over there. Yup, snap that off. We're gonna use that. Finding shackles, I'll take it. Dude, what is this floor? Like it's just everything is free. This floor is all about freedom. This is the freedom floor. This is the freedom floor. Just go wherever you want, just cool. Go basically anywhere you want. Do whatever you want. All right, we're going to swap out this week E-Song March and uh, put in the brand new E-Song Jam. Put in that brand new E-Song Jam right over there. Boom. That's a nice replacement. We should heal in this. Oh, yeah. That's some good healing. Get a relic out of the deal. Defensive entry, health of front row. Health of front row looks good. Lead the charge. Good pickup. Oh man, another fight. I think I heal from this. I think I heal from this. So I keep doing it. 
think that's a true statement. Let's find out. Uh, false statement. That was garbage. Oh, well. What do we get? Garbage. That was bad. Now what? Man. I gotta fight a full boss, and I got nothing to help me. I've got nothing to help me. I could try to sneak past this guy and find other good stuff. I'm very tempted to do that. I'm very tempted to do that and see if I can find some other good stuff. There's got to be something else I can get that will help here. You know? So there's got to be. There's got to be something else that'll make this easier. Oof. Wow. A lot of damage. All right. That was a lot of damage, actually. Oh, seriously? All right, fine. I just got to fight the boss. We just got to fight him. How are we going to do this? This Sun Tzu march is roasted. So that's, that's gone. See you later, Sun Tzu. We've got... Man, not great choices. Like, we have all these Esong marches. You know what I could do? I could just send some Esong marches to die, right? Couldn't I just send a bunch of Esong? But then, like, I'm gonna have, I don't have enough marches that I want to die. I'm not quite at that point. I don't think I'm quite there yet. I don't think I'm quite there yet. Do we have some good single target damage? Perfect. That's good. Okay, and we could bump all these up a little. Kind of like that. Which march is this? Uh, okay, good. That's the Esong Sid. This wouldn't be the worst. My Ethel Flood is going to get completely roasted. Full fight right over here. Oh, boy. I could have suicided a couple marches. I, I didn't have to send a full crew. That might have been a better play. Like, suicide one or two marches, you know? That could have been better. Look at that, Ethel Fled. It's, she's in trouble. But the reason I like her getting low is that now CPO's healing is going to kick in. Although I think she's actually going to die. This is really bad. This is, actually, this is actually going really poorly. Uh oh, this is this is bad. We got we got problems now. We got some real problems now. Should have done this differently. Oh man, this run is in trouble. I thought we were going to be un unbeatable in this run, and yet we are kind of wrecked here. Oh my god. Ooh. This is pretty savage. I might need to restart the floor. Because this is bad. I'm kind of shocked at how bad this is. Wow. Alright. Fully defeated. <laughs> Whoa. How many troops do I even have left? That's it? Uh, so about that. So about that. I think I got to return to floor eight. I gotta do it. I don't see how else I get past this. Yeah. Confirm. All right. Let's revisit this. We were so flush with relics and good stuff, I thought. But it's given me some new relics here, and my options are a million times better. This is... Honestly, much better already. 
We're going to take all three of these. No question about it. That leaves us 700 currency, which means all we can take is the medium healing, which is definitely worth taking. My troops were very weak, as I recall. That is still true. But now we've got a ton of healing and a ton of things. Yeah, this is already instantly better. Instantly better. All right, didn't mean to tap that square, but we did. We did, and it was a bad guy. Stainless Steel Lance. Cavalry deals extra damage to archers. Okay. Cool. Now we gotta start fighting stuff. Suppose I'll fight over here. And let me heal first. Let's get the healing going. Relic. 20% uh, strength. Whew, whew, whew. We were in some trouble, actually. We'll put the 20% strength to... our damage march and pop a five percent heal pop a five percent heal cool start fighting let's do this all right uh oh definitely rearrange let's make it happen okay man i thought we were getting such good relics too defense of all cavalry is good it's because we got stuck on a boss fight without any way to deal with a boss. That was the problem. Stuck on a, a boss fight with no way to deal with the boss. This Ethelfled's got to go away. We'll replace her with who? Um, let's go with the Ethel. Oh, look at all those T5s. Sure. Sure. Ethel Joan is fine. Cool. Keep exploring. Oh, man. Okay. Hit a guy at every opportunity, apparently. Apparently, that's what's happening today. My Sun Tzu is looking weak. Swap that out for a Sun Tzu Joan. Sure. Okay. Cruising on. Mike L., thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Smash Squad. I appreciate you. New standard bolt. We're now in a much better position to deal with bosses than we were before. There's a healer's hut too. I almost need the healer's hut before I fight the boss, but not really. Let's use some relics here. We will use the 30% damage reduction on this boss. Now we fight him. We should be good to go. We should be good to go. We got lots of nice AoE damage here. We'll switch that around. It's beautiful. Beautiful. How do we do? Woo! One march nearly dead. But that's okay. I'm just going to swap that one out. And I'm going to take... I'm tempted to take Gloves of Awakening. Because I'm getting low. I'm getting low. Battle, but Battlefield Oath is always good. 30% chance to get another skill is so good, isn't it? It really is. Like, that's a lot of damage. But Gloves of Awakening, that's some big healing. But I think I gotta take the Battlefield Oath. It's just so many skill activations all the time. Which seems really good. Alright, making our way through this floor. Let's fight this guy. Love the membership emojis. Dude, the membership emojis are sweet. This Ethelfled is basically dead, so that's got to get swapped out. We'll put in our other Ethelfled tanky march. And this Sun Tzu is in trouble. Yeah, we don't need Joan of Arc right now. All right, here we go. Took some non-trivial damage. But now we get to explore. So let's hopefully get some good stuff here. We're exploring our way into this area. Cool. We got some gold and some more gold. Could have been better. Could have been worse. We'll heal up a march. We're going to heal our tank march. Now we go to the next floor. Perfect. Floor clear. All right. Clearing Fog is a 25%, oh, a 20% chance to damage a random enemy. Cool. 
Clearing fog damages enemies, huh? Let's get to clearing. That's nice. Uh, I guess we go left. Left is my best option. Okay, tank march over there. Slightly adjust this setup. Actually, I kind of prefer like this. I think this was going better. This Sun Tzu, yeah, he's beat up, but that's all I got. All right. Cool. Fire it off. All right. We'll go left. Making our way around the map. Making our way around the map. To the left. Okay, we'll ignore that guy. Very good. New recruitment camp. What do we get? We really don't need more Joan of Arcs, do we? But I guess we could use this march. Ethel's pretty good, isn't she? She's pretty good. My Ethel's got all our gear on her and all that good stuff. We'll take the Ethel Joan. I don't particularly want more Joan of Arcs, but I'll take it. And I guess technically this top guy reveals more opportunities for me, so we'll fight him. Switch around the Ethel. This Sun Tzu. We'll replace with the full health Ethel Joan. Seems good. Okay. This is good. All right. We'll go left. We got gold. We'll go right. We got a lot of guys to fight. We got a lot of these little fights. We'll fit, take this guy in the bottom right. This configuration is almost good. Now it is good. We're ready to rock. Good. That went very well. Okay. Claim the chest. 70 gold. Go up north. Now we're stuck again. I got a weaker guy up top. I think I got to take the bottom guy. He just opens up more opportunities for me in terms of things I can explore. I don't love it, but I think it's my choice. And this lineup is fine. Okay. Blue relic. Each time you win a battle, increase your attack. Defensive archers. Increase back row troops attack by 10%. Uh, I think this one is the pick. Warpath momentum. All right. Oh, man. All right. I guess we got to go top here. There's a lot of elites that we keep fighting over here. A lot of elites that we keep fighting. All right. This is a good configuration. Let's fire it up. We keep getting weakened bit by bit here, which is going to be a problem. 70 gold. Okay, an elite guardian detector is very good. But now we have a problem. We got to either fight a lot of these elite guardians or... Or what? I don't know. We were ahead on these items, but now we're about to start to fall behind. I think I try to move one of them. And then if I have to, I fight the other. Right? I think so. Let's move one. Did you see that? Did you see that? I just moved him from this square to this square. Total waste. Did you see that? Do you see that move? All right, well, sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't, I suppose. Um, that's fine. Let's bolt this guy. Now we'll fight him. <laughs> yeah, KB saw what happened. KB saw that and they're laughing. I mean, it's funny. It's sort of funny. Depending on, you know, humor. All right, well... This E song's getting a little wrecked. I'm gonna switch that up to the Mehmed. Get a little bit more AoE value. A little more AoE value like this. Uh, we have an Ethel Flood Guide. If you're looking for an Ethel Flood Guide. Oh, thank goodness. There's the legendary. Thank goodness for that. All right. Um, I'm going to. Use this 30% bolt. Or whatever that level of bolt that is. That's good. He's still actually quite tough, but could be worse. 
Could be worse. Now, in terms of tanking, we could tank it like this and put the AoE damage over there like that. And tank it a little more like this. Uh, put the, yeah, put that like that. Okay. Good stuff. Let's fight this. Pretty, I'm in a pretty savage spot here. We're getting pretty beat up over here. What do we got? <gasps> Fervent Tactics. Recover 1% of troop strength. This is what we needed. I think this will save us. I, I, this is my only way out. I, I do really like Blazing Pendant. If I could get Blazing Pendant right now, I would. I just think I have to get the healing, right? What do you think, chat? What do you think? I think I have to get the healing. Fervent Tactics. I think this is what it has to be. I think that's what it has to be. Boom. Okay, now we go to the next floor. We still find ourselves in a very bad position, weirdly enough. All right, Voodoo Curse. Chance uh, if we go to one of these spots, we're going to take 5% damage. Okay, duly noted. Healing for sure. Yeah, I think so too. Yethelfled goes away. Eplitz, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate having you here. Um, I need more front row troops to heal more marches, right? That's like a thing. Go like this. More front row healing. Yeah. Uh, no. We gotta go like that. There we go. All right. Cool. Oh, we're not even healing. We're still not even healing. Okay, we take out the arrow tower. Tan Han Yun, thank you for subscribing. Uh, I forgot to use my elite detector. Should have used it sooner. Is it still worth it? No. Don't think so. Now that we've already stumbled on one of these guys, I don't think it's worth it. We'll see if that's right or wrong. We'll now find out the hard way. Spin the Disc of Destiny. Chiskul, which will win 100,000 Richard or Martell T4 or 100,000 T5 with Dragon Lancer? Probably the Charles and Martell, honestly. All right, let's fight this. We got all the front row troops in the world. Lots of AoE damage. Uh, lots of AoE damage. Cool. Let's do it. Well, at least now we're getting a little healing. Ooh. Make our way down. Okay, recruitment camp is great. What do we got? The Sid Herman is going to have to be the pick. Sid Herman. We'll snag that. Good to have another full health march, quite frankly. Okay. And now I gotta take one of these marches out of here. Sun Tzu Mehmed might be the one. Double check that. This is an E song. Yeah, that's, that's good AoE damage. Don't wanna get rid of that. Okay. Do it like this. Skip battle. Oh man, we are, we're in some trouble. We're in some trouble. Health of front row. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Oh, there's the other epic. So now is the question. Would the epic detector have been better? I don't know. This floor is beyond savage. This floor is so savage. I'm going to take 5% damage to all my marches. Oh, gross. Baraku gold. And the low guy. Oh, man. Not using that elite detector was a massive mistake. Might, might cause, cost this for me. Actually. Might actually cost this for me. 
I gotta fight this. And to do that, I'm going to send some small marches. Small march. Small march. Just gonna send them to die. Just gonna send them to die. Small march. All right, just get a little damage in. Okay. Now we actually fight that guy. It's kind of like bolting him. It's kind of like bolting him, although it didn't cost me a bolt. Now we're back in. Not very impressive lot of troops, honestly. Not, not very impressive. Jeez. Hmm. This is, we're in some serious trouble. I don't know what we could get that would get us out of this situation. This is not a good situation. Um... I think this configuration is fine. But we're, we're in trouble. We got a lot of marches about to die. Your infantry deal 10%. Defense of all archers. Each time you win, you gain some toughness. That's good. Oh my gosh. This is not good. I think this floor layout really wrecked us with the poison. Poison's so bad. We'll fight this guy, but I'm starting to lose hope. I might have to reset yet again. Might have to reset yet again. In fact, I think it's likely. All right. Sure. More front row marches for healing, I guess. Ew. We did heal a little. Okay, a healing hut. That's nice. That's nice, but I'm I'm too shredded. Like I can't. I gotta restart. Again, I'm gonna look at these spaces just to see where the boss was. No boss. No boss. There was the boss. I mean, like, this floor was gonna shred me. Let's go back. This is insane. I know. I thought we were having a really good run. I thought we were having a really good run. Now I have a lot of damage items available and no healing items. Uh, I'm gonna take all of them. Um, yeah, relics, I have an elite detector. All right, I can take four items and I can heal. Cool, yeah, uh, 500, 500, yeah, I can do that. I can take this, this, this. I think I'm sleeping on these elite detectors. I think they're really good. I think I'm going to take another elite detector, actually, instead of the basic armor. And I'm just going to be better about actually using them. All right, let's roll. Let's do this. Let's do this. Relic Hunter increases chance of getting a relic. Thank goodness I could use that. We're getting a little tracked up in here. All right. Nope, nothing there. Make our way around, that's fine. Relic capacity reached, that's a high quality problem. Two relics on this floor for me. Okay, 20% heal. Oh yeah, we were in trouble this run. Put it on our tank march. And the 5% healing for everyone, fire that up. And we'll start around the board. Start our way around the board. That was that fight was great. Oh, really? Okay, we got another one to fight right away. Come on, come on. Okay, uh, get some AOE damage up top. Is there a swap to make? Not really. We'll keep that that way. Uh, tempting to reduce the burden on my ethyl flat a little bit. Go like this. I'm good with this. Okay. Good. 
Let's explore. Claim that. Let's claim these relics. What do we got? Good. 20% heals. Really good. And an elite guardian detector. Okay. Those are... That's good. I have been undervaluing those. I've learned. I've definitely learned that. Spiked armor is good. Where do we go from here? I guess we'll... Fight this guy on the right. Fine. Actually, let me heal first. Let me heal. Back row march speed buff is no good. Yeah. I get that. I definitely get that. All right, 20% heal on my good damage march. It's very good. Fight this guy. Okay, load it up like this. And like this. Perfect. Sun Tzu in the front's getting a little wrecked, but what are you going to do? All right. Clear those spaces. I hope I don't have to fight that elite, but if I do, at least I've got a lot of stuff I can use. At least I've got a lot of stuff I can use. Switch those around. And do it like that. All right, fire it up. Taking little bits of damage here and there. Oh my gosh. Really? Really? All right, let's fight the elite. I think we got to fight him. I think we, we could move him. Moving him could suck. That did happen last time. It did really suck. Let's move him. Really? <laughs> did you see that? He moved up two spaces from here to there. Did you see this? Did you see this? All right, I have to fight him now. I'm going to bolt him. Now I'm going to fight him. Stinking guy. Come on. Really, game. This is this is what's happening. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll switch that up. Okay. Seems good. Seems better this way. Good AOE, like this, like this. Okay. Cool. Took a lot of damage. What do we get? Damage taken by front row troops by 5%. I feel like we've really needed one of those. We did get another primitive bolt. And there's the boss. Cool. That's good. We will use... I'm tempted to use one of my higher power items. Quite frankly. I'm going to. I'm going to 60% less damage or the higher power bolt. I'm going to use the higher power bolt. Use it. Okay, he's very beatable now. He is very, very beatable. And I'll put the Ethelflaed up top, the better Esong up top. This Sun Tzu has got to get a swap out. Ibrahim, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Smash Squad. It's good to have you here. Let's uh, do this. Boom, new legendary. Wow. I don't think we're ever going to heal enough for Influential Leader to be a thing. I got to take Fervent Tactics. I got to get this healing going. I got to get this healing going. I really want Influential Leader, but I, I got to get the healing going. Now, do I fight this for the two spaces? I don't think I do. Well, I also have the Blessing buff. Fine. Maybe we'll find a Relic. Maybe we'll find a Relic. And we have Front Row Healing now. Maybe that will help. Not sure. Not entirely sure. How's this going to go? Mm, debatable. How do we do? Not healing, but not miserable. Not healing, but not miserable. Levanil, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Smash Squad. I appreciate you. Ooh, two chests. Could be good. What do we get? Elite Guardian Detector. Wow, the game is signaling to me I should be using my Elite Guardian Detector. So what am I going to do? I get to this floor, first thing I pop is an Elite Guardian Detector. Where are the... Wait. Wait. Reveal location of all Guardian Elites on this floor. Use. Hmm. 
Am I just getting trolled? I have four elite guardian detectors and there's no elites on this floor? Are you serious? I didn't even know that was a possibility. I did not even know that was a possibility. Zero elite guardians on this floor. Zero. Sure game. That's cool. Super cool. I love that. All right. Sure. This is, this is fine. Healing good. AoE good. Kill. I'm finally healing. I'm finally getting some healing. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. Oh, ooh, heal all troops. That's nice. We definitely could use some heal all troops action. We definitely could use that. Oh, and now I detect the guardian. <sighs> All right, well, I can detect basically everything in the universe right now. I'm going to fight these guys on the left, because even though I have to fight two of them, I might heal out of the deal. I might just be healing out of the deal. Let's uh, give this a shot and see how this goes. Do it like that. Fight. I didn't heal. Great. We'll fight this guy. Um, line it up. We'll hit skip. That time we healed. Weird how that works. There is for sure a legendary guardian. Yes, that is definitely the case. There's definitely a legendary guardian, and we found him. And we found him. Now we're going to use... Um... I'm tempted to use my big bolt here. Let's see. How are my troops looking? Everybody needs a heal. So let's just start with healing everybody. Okay. And hmm, single bolt for 30% or the bigger one? I'm going to single bolt. Boom. Okay, he's lower. Now we fight him. This is an interesting setup. I actually really like this. This is good for me. Very favorable. This is very favorable for me. Okay. I like this. I like this. Here we go. Boom. We're taking a lot of damage. We could use some healing. Defensive back row. Healing effects in battle under your troops command are increased by 20%. That seems good, right? Does that... Does that increase the healing effect of the 1% heal every, what is it, 30 seconds? I feel like it would. I feel like we go for this. Healing effects increased. I feel like we go for this. Let's give it a shot. See how it goes. I've never picked that up before. It could be terrible. It could be amazing. Couldn't tell you. Okay. Let's go to the next floor. Mystic portal time. All right, Relic Hunter's good. Elite Guardian Detector. Glad we used that. Let's see what we can do. Crap. Not a great start. All right, we got to fight him. We're going to split these guys out. That's good. Actually, this is totally fine. Totally fine. Getting a little bit of healing. We have more troops. We get a lot of healing. Okay, blocked by Brambles. That's cool. Knock that out. Tower's down. From here, we can sort of free explore a little bit. We'll see what we can get. Another bolt is a fine pickup. 20% bolt is good. Chest is good. There's the Karaku gold. All right, we can uh, reveal this guy now. It doesn't matter. We'll make our way to the right. Another bolt. Holy jeez. Okay. It's a lot of bolts. That's good. There are, ooh, 20% heal. That's good. A resurrection shrine. Whoa, this floor is really good. We don't even have room for relics anymore. What? Wow. Game's taking pity on me now. Okay. This floor is really good. If I look at my troops, I mean, I can, I can start by healing somebody 50%, which seems really good. Um, I'm going to heal my tank march. 
That's a great pickup. I can even suicide a march over here, but I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to. I can also restore 20% to one of my troops, which I'm going to do. I'm going to restore my big damage march. That's good. And Chris, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Smash Squad. I appreciate you. Bolt for getting more healing on the Legendary Guardian. Yeah. I could, I could honestly double bolt this guy, which I think I do. Or I just go and use a crazy relic. I think I just double bolt him to make some space in my inventory as well. Yeah, I should double bolt. That's the play. Bolt number one. Hits. And bolt number two. Hits. And now we fight. Ed Winks, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Smash Squad. I appreciate having you here. Tauhid, welcome to the Smash Squad. I appreciate you. Let's do this. What do we got here? Um, not a lot of options for substitution. Not a lot of options for substitution. Okay, I think we just go for it with what we got. I think we just go for it with what we've got here. Skip the fight. We even got a little healing. That's good. One of our marches got kind of wrecked, but whatever. Ooh. Calm Fury. Chance to gain rage. Yes, please. Yes, please. 20% chance from normal attacks to gain 100 rage. Dude, this is so much better than our other attempt. Our other two attempts. It's honestly astonishing how much better this is. Center the Mystic Portal. Here we go. Looking good. We have room for two relics, but we could just heal. We can just grab a heal and, and pop it. So I could heal all my troops 10% and then get the siege weapon. That wouldn't be the worst. We have two ways to deal with bosses right now, not three, which makes me a little uncomfortable. I could also do 30% of one troop, which I think might be better. Vioral, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Smash Squad. Um, 30% of one troop might just be better. That might, that might give me more value, quite frankly. Like 10% of everybody, yeah, that's nice. But yeah, no, that's actually pretty good. 10% of everybody right now would be pretty good. That would be pretty huge. I think that's, I'm tempted to do that. I'm tempted to just do that. 10% to everybody and then the siege weapon. Okay. And I'll probably just pop that, but we'll go to the next floor to find out. All right. Your troops deal 10% less damage on this floor. That's no good. Relic. Siege weapon, use, destroy that. Great. Relic. Elite detector. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that would have sucked. That would have sucked. All right, let's explore a little, shall we? Shall we explore a little? 30 Karaku gold. More Karaku gold. Abandoned chest with Karaku gold. I can move somebody, that's good. Another chest with Karaku gold. Cruising right along. We found the boss. Okay. Wow. I'm going to fight this guy because he's really low and it's going to reveal a lot of spaces. A, a questionable move, but I'm going to heal everybody up 10%. Feeling pretty healthy now. Now I fight this guy. We want everybody in front rows for sure. Um, we'll take the fight. Yeah, actually, this is a pretty good way to, to take the fight with my AoE orientation. This is totally fine. I mean, I'm going to position the Ethel Flood to take more damage. But, yeah, it's good. No healing, unfortunately, but not a lot of losing. All right, how do we do? Not great. We didn't do great. Now we're going to fight the boss. We're going to use an item on him. We only have so many items. I'm going to reduce his strength by 30%. 
Now we're going to fight. We need to get one more item that reduces the boss's effectiveness between now and the final floor. Do we have a good Joan of Arc substitute? That is a good tanky march, and I think we do. The Ethel is good. The AoE damage is quite good. Um, I'm going to bump these up. Switch some of this around. I think that's decent. I don't love it. I don't love it. I think I prefer like this. Even though my front row marches do a lot of healing, I think I prefer this. All right. Took a lot of damage. It's a boss. Even 30% reduction, it's a lot of damage. Reduce front row damage taken by 7%. That has to be the pick. That has to be the pick. I gotta reduce the damage I'm taking. All right, now we explore. Resurrection Shrine and two little guys. The two little guys might be worth the fighting. They might be worth the fighting. It's hard to know offhand. But I think it's worth a gamble. Let's find out if these guys are worth it. I did heal a little bit. I do get an item. Reduce the health of enemy troops. That seems good. Two spaces. Gold. All right, I think I'm just going to call it on this floor now. We call it on this floor. We go to the next one. See, I take, I'm like 10% less effective. Yeah, okay. New floor. New floor. Floor 14. Relic. Detector. Okay, good. Do really good I did that. Really good I did that. We take this out. Arrow tower's down. Now we can explore the map. Okay, we picked the one bad spot. That's fine. Uh, keep exploring the map a little bit. Making our way around the outside. Okay, found a bad guy. Found the boss. That's good. Forced movement we don't really need right now. And we found a resurrection shrine. Okay. How much of this do we fight versus we go somewhere else? We'll start with the Disc of Destiny. I really don't want ambush. That would be really awkward to ignore the front row. We almost got it. All right, Karaku Gold is fine. This guy in the upper left is almost a free fight for me, I think. I'm going to take it, even though maybe I shouldn't. Even though maybe I shouldn't. We take the fight. Yeah, that, that was nearly free. And we get an item. Health of all cavalry. Your infantry do 5%. Ugh. Attack of all I don't have that much cavalry. I have one cavalry march. I have more infantry. Guess I get that. All right. Ew. That was terrible. Um, all right, I guess I fight the boss. And we use our one item that we have left. 60% less damage. Here we go. Boss time. Boss time. 60% less damage. Let's see how this goes. I definitely want lots of troops in the front line for this because taking 60% less damage means I am going to get a lot of opportunity for that front row healing to happen. But, man, they, they have an interesting distribution here. They have a very interesting distribution. I think I go like this. This Ethel, what are you? Ethel Joan, that's fine. Do I have a Joan of Arc up top? This is Ethel Sepio. This is Sun Tzu Mehmed. I don't have a Joan of Arc up top. So how do I how do I solve that? I guess it's fine like this. This is fine. Joan of Arc, they're gonna kill their stuff in the well, is it fine, actually? Is it though? I really do need a Joan of Arc up there. Hmm, I don't see a great way to do that. I'd rather have the guy in the front row. What oop, I hit skip battle. Alright. Lost a march. <laughs> Good thing there's the resurrection hut here. Um, Boundless Horn. At the start of the battle, your troop with the least units recovers 5% strength. Yeah, I gotta do that. KLM Group, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Um, I gotta, I gotta heal. 5% heal's good. Boundless Horn. 
Boundless Horn it is. And we made it. Barely. We revive a march. I don't think I fight anybody here. I don't think I fight anybody. I mean, like... I can move one of these guys. I can move this guy. Let's see what we got. That was worth it, right? Andre, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Square formation, attack of infantry. That's good. 70 gold and 30 gold. 100 gold total. Mm, meh. Not the best, not the worst. Not the best, not the worst. Will I go positive on this guy if I fight him? Probably not at this point. We're really looking pretty bad. Nope. I don't think I can fight him. All right. Let's go through the Mystic Portal. We need healing pretty badly. Pedro, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you. Elite Detector. One elite on the floor. All right. Awkward position to have a guy to fight is what it is. Minamoto's kind of wrecked. So we'll put in... I mean, I have two marches that are good, so they've got to go in. That's only the two marches. We're pretty low. And I have a third march. We're pretty low here. This is not look good. I gotta have four front row because of all the buffs I get now. And this is an Ethelflaed Joan. It almost doesn't matter where I put this. It almost doesn't matter. We'll go like that. Sure. Little healing. That's nice. Don't zero me. I didn't do anything. Who's zeroing you? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a really tough green tier guy to fight. That's really tough. Wow. I'm in trouble. Um, I think this works. Just go around him. Okay, we went around him. That's good. Um, I think we can keep going around him and explore a couple. Oh my gosh. Really? Well, yeah. Okay. Okay, hopefully we don't need to go into that corner. That'll be awkward. A healing hut. Thank goodness. Man, we really needed a healing hut. We needed a healing hut much sooner. Much, much sooner. Healing item. Thank goodness for that. Restore 5% of all my troops. All right. Some gold. A disc of destiny. Oh, man. Gloves of Awakening would be a crucial pickup right now. We didn't get it. But we did get health of all cavalry. Could be better. Could be better. Um, I think we got to restore the health of all my troops. And we got to heal somebody majorly. Who gets healed? I think I heal the damage rather than the tank in this case. We got to have some damage. And relic wise, we are looking really screwed. We're, we're, we're going to lose. I think this run is going to be a failure, weirdly enough. Weirdly enough. All right. This looks good. Cool, some healing, finally. All right, make our way over. There's the boss. There's just one problem. How am I dealing with this boss? How am I dealing with this boss? I really have not, I, I'm not equipped. I am not equipped to deal with this boss. Um, I can put in my two nearly dead marches. I'm gonna lose, honestly. Take all these marches out. Every one of them. Every one of them. I put in my two nearly dead marches. One. And two. I put them down here. They are going to get obliterated. Rip marches. 
All right, now I fight. And like I took a tiny amount off of him. Kind, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel, I appreciate you. Uh, but in all my marches again, I think now we lose. I think now we rep. I think now we rep. So like this? Uh, Ethelfled, what are you? Who's your pair? CPO. Okay. This is Ethelfled Joan. I want the Joan of Arc up top. The Ifu! Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Great to have you here. Your name will be in green. You get the badge showing how long you've been a member. You also get all the sweet emojis, baby. Welcome to the channel as the latest and greatest member. Let's rock those hype emojis. Welcoming Ifu to the channel. I'm gonna I'm gonna rock a few hypes. Rock a few searches. Throw those in the chat. Boom. Um, I think we lose this. Oh, we have two marches left. Two. Uh, health of front row is good. Talc8, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Great to have you here. Forced movement, it's not good enough. That's not good enough. Ugh. Think we advance? And then we'll have to restart the whole thing, quite frankly. I think we'll have to restart the whole thing. We claim these rewards. Floor 16 is pretty decent. But we barely have any money either. We, like, can't do anything here. All my troops are dead, too. 10% healing is not going to do it. What gets me out of this situation? Nothing, really. Nothing. There's no way out. Uh, there's really no way out. Oh, I don't know. What do I do? Sure. I think I think that's that's that for that run. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this. Hit. Okay, sure. Oh god. Oh god! Just run it into the ground, just cool. Run it, run it into the ground. I guess I could have moved one of these guys. That would have been good. Wow, look where he moved to. All right, destroy that. Disc of Destiny. Spin it. Healing effects. It's probably not going to matter enough here. Okay. Uh, now we explore. Gold. Guide to fight. Gold. Guide to fight. Guide to fight. I don't know how, there's like no way out of this. Um, there's, there's no way out. Move this guy. Resurrection. Okay, sure. Who do I resurrect? Of all these choices, I have a tank march. Tank march seems good. Good-ish, anyways. Confirm. All right. All right, there's the boss. Bolt and bolt fight. I think I think this is the end. The end is here. Okay. And I tank it like this. Hope for the best. I should have put them all in the front row, I guess, because I get a little bit of healing, but I'm a little surprised. We can't possibly win this, can we? There's, there's like no way. Use stronger bolt first. Do you think that the bolts take off the current percentage or the total percentage? I thought it was the total. Like the total troops they have regardless of how many they have lost. That could be wrong. 
I can't believe we're not just dead. I can't believe we might win this. I think we're going to have another March die, though, which doesn't help things. Oh my gosh. I think, I think our other March is going to die here. Uh, live. Come on, live. I need that one March to stay alive. So that maybe I can get a big group heal or something. Oh my gosh, it's going to live. It lived. What do I get? This is all terrible. Defensive front row. Okay, sure. Defensive front row troops. What now? I need a heal. Not a heal. Gold. Okay. Next floor, I suppose. Man, we're in trouble. Oh, man, we're in trouble. I'm going to have a march die. Destroy. Okay, chief detector is good. Destroy. Oh, my God. How are we still alive? Oh, my God. Recruitment camp. <laughs> you got to play to your outs, people. You got to play to your outs. The El Cid... Herman is the best I got here. All right. El Cid Herman. So, I mean, it's the best I got. Gold. Guy to fight. Guy to fight. Ugh. Okay. I got to fight this guy and hope that if I get past him, there's other good stuff there. Right? Like, I mean, this guy's pretty compelling, but he doesn't move me around the other side of the map. You know? This is floor 18, what the heck? There's the super boss. There, so I have to fight the top guy. Oh, the, I, have to I have to fight the top guy and the middle guy and win, by the way. Okay, okay. How do we do this? This can go here, this can go here, this can go there, okay. Sure. This is how we do it. Everything has to be front row to get the healing. Why not pick Khan Saladin? Because it's going to give me infantry. Oh god, but the El Cid march is mixed. Well, what the heck are you going to do? Also, my Khan and Saladin have, like, no skills on this account. We're on my restart, by the way. This is on the restart. I think this is how I do this. Uh... I guess maximize my AoE a little bit more there. Sure. Come on, Ethel. <laughs> Hang in there, Ethel Fled. She did get a heal at the start. It's not enough of a heal. I think you're screwed. Abood, you're correct. We're definitely screwed. No question about it. We're done for. Oh my god, the Ethel Flood March is going to live. How is that possible? The Ethel Flood that could. That Ethel Flood is really quite sensational, don't you think? She healed. <laughs> she healed on that fight. Oh, jeez. How is that a possibility? All right. What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. It gets worse. I have to, like, fight this guy and hope that there's three healing huts here. I have to fight this guy and hope that there's, like, three healing huts. And only then do I stand a chance. Only then do I stand a chance. I don't stand a chance. Who are we kidding? Fine. Let's, let's go. What kingdom should you put your jumper account in? Join my Discord. Link's in the description. Whew. It's seriously working against you? Ugh. This is a tough one.
This was a tough one. Let's skip it and see how we did. We actually healed. We actually healed a little bit. Weirdly. I can heal even more, unscathed. I'm going to take it. Okay, now we really need healing huts. Nope. That's no, that's no healing hut. That's no healing hut. Okay. Uh, how do we lay this out? Like this? I think? Yeah. All right. Oh, now, now we're really in trouble. Now we're really in trouble. We're really in trouble. Whatever this is, speed of back row troops, that's not going to do it. What's this? 50 gold is not going to do it. Oh, a healing hut. We got a healing hut. Healing hut helps. Who do I heal? My damage? My tanks? I don't really have tanks. Like, this is a tank. It's not a tank. I need damage. I need tanking. I need it all. I'm gonna heal my damage. All right. I need many more healing huts. I need many more healing huts. Ethelfled survival march goes over there. All right. Uh, I think this is how we do it. Right? Yeah. I guess so. I guess so. Not good. Not not good situation. Not a good situation. All right. Oh, another bad guy. Really? Not good. I need I need three healing huts. But oh, now now my Ethelfled is strong enough that she might actually survive, which is kind of hilarious. It's kind of hilarious. Where does the Ethel Flood go to hit the most marches? She needs to kind of be here. All right. <laughs> we healed. We healed. Why did you zero Solomar? We didn't zero Solomar. That what? Solomar was in my alliance. That makes no sense. Um, crap. Now I think we lose. Now I think we just lose. Has to be, this has to be a loss. There's no way. There's no way that this works. GG. We got a lot further than I thought we would. I have zero troops. Why am I still here? It doesn't kick you out? Uh, restart. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we we definitely lost that. We definitely lost that. Um, let me back out of this. Let me back way out of this. Way way out of this. We got pretty far. That was a pretty good run, to be honest. Oh, I didn't even spend my action points here. I don't even have troops gathering. Let me go to my main. Let's open some gold keys on my main. We gotta open some gold keys on the main. Let's do that real quick. What can we do here? A few things we need to do. First, first and foremost, we have one of these, Treasures of the Uncrowned Emperor. We need 12 Caesar sculptures to expertise him. Could happen. We could get there. We might not. Let's find out. We're going to get the good stuff? Nope. Lump of coal. LOL. All right. Now let's go open the gold keys. We have, wow, 33. I love this. We get so many gold keys. Let me see if I have more lined up. More gold keys, maybe? Nope, no more gold keys from bundles, but still pretty good, pretty good. I guess there could be one. Oh, 34 gold keys. Chiskul, you should attack guardians on the lower floors for more epics. That's conceivable. For blessings, could be. Could be. That could be a thing we should be doing. Let's claim all these goodies. Let's get these gatherers rolling. How many legendary commander sculptures do you think we're going to get? That's the real question. 
How many legendary commander sculptures will we get? That's what I want to know. From, by the way, from the uh, 34 gold keys. That's how many we have. It's a, lo it's a lot. We could get a lot. The game is smoother than usual. Is that so? Is that so? That's good. I like hearing that. 57? Oh my gosh. That's uh, very auspicious. That's very auspicious. I mean, I like that answer. I like that answer. 21, 12, 25. Ryu, good to see you. Good to see you. If you're enjoying the live stream, consider subscribing to the channel or throwing a like on the video. Free to you supports the channel. 34 sculptures. 34 would be pretty legit. We'll see uh, 34 sculptures and 34 keys. That'd be a sick pickup. Can we do it? Uh, uh, we might have gotten pretty close there. We might have gotten pretty close there. Zero Julius Caesar. Holy wow. That's a lot of sculptures. 52 sculptures. Who said 52? Who said, someone said 57. Abood said 57. We're almost there. Now, as it turns out, all but three of these sculptures are waste to me. All but three of these sculptures are waste. Fifty-two. That, that was a good rep. Unfortunately, I only need three of the fifty-two. This is, you remember how I said don't use your universals on gold key commanders? This is why. David, thank you for the $1 super chat with that love emoji. That's crazy. That's a good rip. That's a really good rip. But um, not the things we were looking for because literally I can't use any of it. I got the three meth med or what was it, Freddy's? Three Freddy's is good. We're, we're, almost, we're almost at an Expertise Freddy, too. We're almost at an Expertise Freddy. Let's do this. I'm going to put up the Spend Blocker, and we're going to make our way over to the Daily Special Offer. Just kidding. We've already purchased it. All right. We already have this Daily Special Offer. Woo. Savage. So savage. Oh man. Wow. Uh, rip me. Rip me. Whew. How about that? Those gold keys were pretty savage. I'm still 12 sculptures away from Julius Caesar. Still 12 sculptures away. Here's, for those of you tracking these things, here's the number of extra sculptures I have of all that other stuff. An expertise worth of Cao Cao. Almost an expertise worth of El Cid. We have an expertise of Cleopatra. Yeah. Now, granted, we didn't use any universals on Cleopatra, but whatever. What should I invest in as free-to-play? Constantine or Alexander? Both are very good. Check out my Ultimate Legendary Guide, link in the description, for my guide on exactly what I would invest in. The exact Legendary sequence is in my Ultimate Legendaries play playlist. Link is in the description. Public service announcement. We do have a competition running right now for the very best city design in Rise of Kingdoms. There is a cash prize. Let me get the link for the competition real quick. There's a cash prize for the best design city. And there's actually five cash prizes, which is kind of cool. Um, the first, second, and third place prizes go to the folks that have the uh, best city design as decided by people in the Blue Stacks Discord. 60 bucks, and then I think 30 bucks and 20 bucks for those prizes. And then the next two prizes are Chiskul's pick. So, whichever one I want, 
And then there's another prize. Uh, it is 10 bucks, I think, for the most dysfunctional city design. <laughs> most dysfunctional city design, which I get to choose. Which I get to choose. I'm going to put the link in the chat. Here we go. Maybe. Can I put the link in the chat? Send. Won't let me send it. Really? Two, is it too long? Why won't it let me send it? Doesn't register it. Super weird. All right. The link will be in the description of the video as of three seconds from now. Paste. How about that? Save. That worked. Um, there's also a link in my Discord, which is linked in the description. So if you're looking for something to do, go submit your city design and you could win some money. The last chance to enter is 11.59 p.m. PDS, wait, PDT today. I almost said PDST. That's not how that works. David, thank you for the $3 super chat. And thank you to Bluestacks for providing the prizes for us to give away in this contest. Very exciting. So check that out. Um, and for those of you that don't know, um, you can play Rise of Kingdoms on your computer with Bluestacks. There's a link in the description to get that if you're interested. That supports the channel as well. This has been a really fun live stream. I've got KVK in 6 hours and 11 minutes. So we're definitely going to be back for Marauders. Maybe not today, but tomorrow we've got Marauders. A lot of Marauders to do. So consider tuning in tomorrow to slay some Marauders. I'm headed out for now. Throw a like on the video. Consider subscribing if you're interested in more Rise of Kingdoms content. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.